Uh oh, being recorded again. We just had another brand new person show up, so I just put him in his room. So Where are all the these variants coming from? <laughs> Different places, and that's very cool. Alternate reality. Facebook. The multiverse. Twitter, TikTok. The multiverse. I, I'm going with that. Facebook. Yeah, don't watch the Glitch in the Matrix movie. I think that one of one of the new people is uh, well. I know one of them is GSW. Ah. In training. Hi, Caspian. Hello. Almost the only time I see him, my child is here. Oh please. <laughs> well, we had pizza together on Sunday, so that. Oh. oh. See. Yeah. That's once. I mean, for somebody who lives this close, we should be seeing each other. I see my mom once a week, and she lives like twenty minutes away. Yeah, Cass is about twenty. I get to see my parents and sister for the in person for the first time next week. Yay! Like ages. Well, you see them here. So the border is still open. Here comes Gail. I'm going to put her in room three. So, so just to be aware, we have a bunch of people who might be dropping out like early. I don't know. Avi, pretty much for sure, right? I might. Avi, for sure. That's Faith said she's a who might. I have, they've, they're making us go, but I've been made to go back into the building because I have to train a new person. Oh, so you'll be leaving early? Yes. Well, Mayor will still be here, though. He might. Of course. Yeah. I'll be here. Caspian's going to be all alone when my power goes out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'm also trying to file FEC reports. <laughs> Why? Because I have to. Oh, as yeah. one does. Caspian, what? what's your job? Uh... This has nothing to do with my job. This is oh, okay. off the side, but I am the financial manager for a small software company. Tell them what they do. We make war games. What? Uh, uh, for the government. For the government? War games? What? Yeah. Like he designed the Whopper. What? That's the, that's the war games computer the from War Game. Yeah. Oh. You might know it as Joshua. Oh. Oh, mm -hmm. Joshua is the program that was running on Walker. Right, I, I remember that. Let's, let's oh just cut to the chase. Me back to the 1980s. Jeez, my it, it, I was Skynet. It's line. Skynet, Hell, isn't I'd it? That's what we're doing. Plug if I thought it would help, I remember. Trivia, Skynet. trivia. You know, the 80s are about as far away from the 40s as the 80s were. <laughs> That's yeah, scary. That is now, scary. Like, the golden standard of music now. Yeah, that's frightening whenever I uh, rewatch Back to the Future, because I remember seeing that in theaters and goes, oh, he goes back to 1950s. That was so long ago. And now, yes, we're well, It's really away. depressing that 10 years ago, I was saying, you know, when you hear 80s music in a restaurant, that's like hearing 50s music in a restaurant when I was a kid. Right. <laughs> that's right. Life has changed quite a bit. This will be interesting. We've got three new people and there. Should be popping up here real soon. I just put Gail in the room, so I'm going to give it a second or two. Yeah, the person I'm training graduated college last year and is 23, and it was very weird. Um, like, oh, I was 13 when you were born. <laughs> Wait a second, you weren't alive. You don't remember when this happened or this happened or this happened. Well, what's really bad is Isabella gets into this trivia thing and she kicks her ass and she's not even 18 yet. <laughs> she hasn't lost as many neurons yet. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll see. Okay, I'm going to close these rooms. Cool, 18. More than 18% of my music was from the 80s. Because your mom was in the 80s. So so how did you That's do Caspian a... personally when I did the two 80s categories? Uh, I was annihilated. Wow. I didn't know a single category. Oh, category. my God. That's surprising then. Jamie or, needs some, though. Do you have them in your library, but you just never have listened to them? No, I'm not a pop music guy. Okay. When he says the 80s, he's talking about like Iron Maiden or something. <laughs> I went to that website to show the cool thing in my class. Hello, Wilma. I don't think I said hello yet. Hello, Wilma. Hi, Gail. Hi, Hi. Susan. Oh, Wilma, I have to change the, your, 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 I have to fix her W. I can't have that. You got it. You got to capitalize her. Susan. Yes. I just want to let you know that I will have two more weeks of trivia where I know for 100% I'll be able to come to every week. After that, it is will be a hit or miss whether or not I will be able to Oh, that means that the <laughs> pandemic is over. 
Well, because they'll be at college, and I know the first week they're doing a bunch of like stuff. Oh, I know. Your life is going to be the freshman. So, like, I'll try to come at least twice a month, but okay. it, like, it won't be every week thing because I don't know what what my schedule is going to look like. You know. Yeah, I'll, I'll pop miss, in if I can. Miss, I just it's. I'm more concerned about my roommate. I don't know how she's going to do with me sitting on a computer talking to people. Or- Isabella, how is, Isabella, oh, that's so disruptive. You're taking nursing, Isabella. All you need to yeah. know is how to bring coffee to the doctor. I know, <laughs> right? I'm pumped. You can just get one of those things that you always see advertising that now that you go into that little like sound booth and you know. Oh, I know. The little mini ones where you just stick your head in there. Yeah, I mean, I think my roommate's gonna be pretty chill, but I still, I'm like. I'm gonna like see, like ask her like, hey, just let you know, every Thursday wow. I sit on a Zoom call with a bunch of people, <laughs> and most of I haven't you're met in person. We play trivia, yeah. so if you want to come and join me, <laughs> just to get get your get your roommate to join the crowd. Right. Yeah, yeah, I that's will. The way it is. Just suck so, them into trivia. Yeah, so let me let me say hello to to everybody. We have a brand new, uh, at least three brand new people, so don't feel alone. It is always somebody's first time and it feels really awkward because everybody feels like they know each other. But trust me, a lot of us have never. I, I don't know these people. When we, when we were supposed <laughs> to figure out pictures, I didn't know anybody's faces. So they, <laughs> so and I've been be playing for a year plus. When we play together a lot, we're just kind of always having a good time. And people are going to probably attack me at some point tonight. And don't worry, I can I can handle it. I will I will just block them. <laughs> 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 and if they don't attack you, they'll be attacking whoever asks the questions in that category. Yeah, yeah. So so what happened is I started this a little over a year ago, just on a whim, because somebody People suggested lonely. we do it. And I just made this all up. It's all completely made up how we do this. And it became very social. And then about, gosh, has it been about a year? <laughs> about a year We're ago. We're in season two. Uh, yeah, well, a while back, I said, you know what, this is hard because I was creating all the categories, all five categories each week. And we've never missed a Thursday, by the way. We were here on Thanksgiving and we were here on New Year's Day. Christmas we Eve and New Year's Eve. Eve. So we've never missed a Thursday. And what happened is that people started volunteering to do the categories themselves. So we started doing that. It's taken a lot of pressure off of me. So each week, people will volunteer to do a category. And some people have done multiple categories and some people have never done a category or maybe one. Richard Saunders tonight is going to do his very first category. Whoa. And um, it's different, it's totally different. I don't know what it, the theme is, but I know it's audio. So I can tell you guys that. We've never done an audio category before, so he's going to try it. And so each week- The theme is going to be Skeptoid episodes. <laughs> So each week what we do is we usually, I mix you guys up. So you're not with the same team each time. So it's forcing you guys to be more social, mm-hmm. to get interact and that kind of thing. And, and that's the whole idea is to spend time with each other, meet new people and so on. Um, you're able to, if you really can't hang out lo- long, you're, it's okay to leave. I mean, we appreciate if you let us know ahead of time so that I don't put you on a team that is uh, going to be missing so many people if you leave if you just can't do it then just send me a message and say i'm out of here because it's too late and i gotta go to sleep and um, that'll be fine it happens and also something else i was thinking of. i don't remember i will play on the team of the person whose category is not whoever's doing the category like carl's gonna go first tonight so when he does this category, and I don't know what any of these categories are, I have no idea. I will go on to his team and I will play in his spot. And then whenever it's the second round with Richard Saunders, who's on a different team, I will go play in his spot. And wherever I go, it records. So um, if, if you're on the team of somebody who is playing, who is the category in charge of the category, then you will be recorded. And that's fun. It's so much fun. All right. You Any can tell by questions? the background that Richard Saunders is actually a Susan variant. Oh, yeah. See, and they tend to do that with my background. They put my background in there. Can we, you know what, let me just have real quickly the three people who are new, because I just want to say hi. Thank you guys for joining us. Let's see. Vanessa, you're brand new. Yes. Hi. How'd you find us? Uh, Kevin Mocker who I have met under nefarious circumstances, uh, invited me to, uh, to try this out and I'm very excited. 
It is fun. It really is. People keep coming back for some strange reason. I don't know why. And, and you know Robin. And I and do. Robin's I not here it. yet. And don't worry, Vanessa, we won't hold it against you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you for either of these, these uh, ne'er-do-wells <laughs> of whom I have acquaintance. And as I said, you guys can write whatever you want on your screen. If you want to change your screen, whatever you say in your screen that makes it clear, like where you're from or what are your pronouns are, or what your name is or how you, whatever. And it's funny because I know you guys from different places and I have no idea where I know a lot of people because, but I think we're all kind of in the skeptic community. Most of us, some people are, and there's some people relating to each other, which is even hilarious. John. I have some doubts about us being in the skeptic community. I'm not sure I really believe that. <laughs> I've God. never heard a joke like that. Yeah, before. if only I had a. <laughs> John Kennedy, uh, GSOW. Go ahead, John. Yep. Uh, Say hello. Hi, everybody. I know a couple people here. Um, this is my first time. I see Robert just came. What's going on, Robert? Volume is really low, and it's not even highlighting the, the tile, so I don't even see where you are. Where is he? Say something, John. Up at the up at the top here. Can yeah, but it, no, it's different on everyone's screen. It's different, it's different on everyone's screen. Yeah, turn your volume up a little bit. He can't. He, he, he said it's up all the way. Yeah. Oh, it is. I can I, I can see him. Yep. There he is. He's down there. Yep. He's Blue. one of my he's one of my GSW editors, and he came to this. To the to the GSOW world from the uh, from uh, Kenny Biddle, right? Ah, yes, which is also where uh, Robert's from, who I who I just saw come in. Yeah, he just came in. Robert, where are you? Let me see. Say something. Right here. Hello. Oh, there you are. Say hello, yes. everybody. To not, I please use Robert so that we know that you're different from the other Rob. Oh, I, yes. I, I actually recognize your names from the chat in one of the Kenny Biddle streams. Yes. Hi. Yeah, yeah we were chatting. I think during that oh hi adrian hey yep. <laughs> hello adrian and hello. robert where are you located at i am uh in the suburbs of philadelphia oh, that is great where everybody's from all over i love this this is so yeah, cool. i've actually been friends with kenny for about 10 years so and we won't hold that against you either no. so we've got at least one canadian how many other canadians are here wilma's here adrian's I'm here, here. Okay. Okay. bobby's sort of canadian Alan's right, so a former Canadian. Bobby is, Bobby is Canadian. Canadian. Bobby is Canadian. Yeah, that's true. Robert, what, what, you, you weren't in the Canada Operation you, Peach Pit, were you? What's that? You weren't in Operation Peach Pit with Kenny Biddle, were you? No. Okay. I can't remember who. There was five other people in the, well, it was Donna and, and Kenny, and then there was four other people that were in Operation Peach Pit that he recruited that were his local you know, friends. I'm not sure. Oh, uh, okay. No, I didn't. I actually didn't know him. Well, I knew him, but I didn't know he was in the skeptic community at the time he did that. So, oh, yeah, we we know each other from the karate studio we went to. Oh, <laughs> it's really weird. Sometime we're gonna have to put together like one of those conspiracy maps with all the people who play, and then how everybody's connected to each other. Here comes Deborah, who I had it, a dream about last night. It'll be Is fun Paula to here? see if there are some connections that we didn't even realize oh I bet I'm, there sure are lots. I'm sure there will be there probably oh, are. Well, I, I probably have the only one that's square dancing <laughs> besides the other person here who i'm say square <laughs> and okay so here we go we're gonna get ready with the names let me just say hello to deborah deborah you there i'm here i had a dream about you and lee pinter last night really what yeah, are you doing? um we had a we had a Free Are you sure you want to tell us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had a free ticket that we had. We were going to, and it was a place that started with a P. It was either Philadelphia, Portland, or uh, Philadelphia, Portland, or Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. And we had to go. And, and I was saying to myself, oh, we better hurry up and get that done. You know, we got to decide where we're going because it's, it's like in a couple of weeks. And we were going because we had some free tickets to fly there and we had to fly there and we were it was going to be you can't waste those free tickets no we were going to that place you got the orange uh the orange memo thank you oh <laughs> i'm wearing pink oh well it's orange on my oh, screen I, I might look orange so <laughs> here we go so we've got three new people tonight i'm excited as can be this is going to be a lot of fun this is game number oh lord 
It is game number 64. 64. Thank you. Game Season number three, episode 64. Seven. Will you still Season need two. me? Will you still feed Hello, me? Hello, Karen. When I'm 60. Karen lives down the street from me. <laughs> it's so funny. My world is so, is so overlapped. I love this. Okay, here we go. So let's go with the rooms. I have to get to the screen that allows me to put to people's rooms. Okay, so room number one, which shall no longer be called room number one, unless, of course, you name yourself room number one for some strange reason. Aaron, Julie, Carl, Kyle, Robert. Oh, and by the way, Julie says, uh, well, then Julie, um, Julie's here, and Jeff has got an owie wow. in the ear. So what? send him your warmth love or whatever it is that we just send people these days. <laughs> Um, we are Simone Biles is already a champion. Oh, that's she, has, she has three more maneuvers named after than Heimlich does. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good team name too. <laughs> and you can put that in the name if you'd like. We didn't make that part of the name originally, but hey, you can add that to it. I like that. Hey, I like it. Yeah. Here's a note to everybody. You have to put everything in writing because I can't spell. So I know I run a Wikipedia team, but I can't spell. So that's just- Susan, me. do you know what team I'm gonna be on yet? Hi, Paula. Hi, Paula. Hello. I don't see your I don't see your face. So how do I know where you are? Well, <laughs> there's a recording thing going on. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, no, I don't yet. I will do it in a second. Oh, yes, I do. I know where you're gonna be. Okay. You're gonna be here. Let just me let me know when you give when you give that group's names that but I know which group to pay attention to. Yeah, who do I know? <laughs> Everybody else is forgotten. <laughs> I don't see. Me too. If I don't know what team I'm on either. Yeah, Adrian doesn't know either. Me either. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, let me do it right now. Okay, let me put them in. And Adrian, does anybody not know who they're on other than those three? And Robin? I will put Robin right. Who should I put Robin with? Oh, I could put her right there. That'd be great. Here comes Robin. Here comes Robin. Here it comes. Okay, so team number two. Isabella, John Kennedy, Karen, Leonard, Saunders, and Wilma. Who are you guys tonight? We just looked it up and now we know what it means. But you can abbreviate to that. We just looked it up. Oh my gosh, into crazy people. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not muted. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Number three, Alan, Kevin, Mono, Vanessa, Gail, Paula, and Robin will soon be added. Is Janine high or is that a media shower? <laughs> what is Janine doing back there? Oh, how do, is, is that the name of the team? Yes. <laughs> Hi, Vanessa. I had nothing to do. I just Hi, brought Robin. up that there's two beer showers tonight. Welcome. <laughs> and okay. So team number four, Bob, Jordan, Ben with an exclamation point. So I guess I got to say Ben, um, <laughs> Kelly. Peggy from Hufflepuff. Is that who all I have? Wait, wait, let me see. Is that all I have in there? That's room oh. four. One, two, three, four. Oh, and Deborah. Wow. Ah. All right. Um, we are the Dirty Bird Chicken Joint. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In the chat, please. Oh, yeah. Thank you. All right. I'll do that right now. Okay, so the next group is Avi, Caspian, Faith and Romero, Rob Palmer, and Adrian. The um, Delta Vera Straniation Amalgamation. Somebody took it seriously when they said, do you want to make it so you can't pronounce it, right? This, this, we, we decided on part of this is because it seems like Richard um, in his podcast has trouble deciding on whether to say variation, strain, or variant. Yeah, um, I say them all, don't I? Yeah. 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 
Yeah, let me I, I guess they're all valid, you know? So it just, let's They're see. all real I, I've never heard it called anything else in American news except variant. Okay. Delta, very strain nation. <laughs> Amalgamation. <laughs> amalgamation. Amalgamation? Is it amalgamation? That's right. Yes. I can say amalgamation. amalgamation, but I've never seen it written before, I don't think. All right. I'll have to come up with a new word. I'll look at my thesaurus. Mm. <laughs> no, that's okay. Mutant. Mutant works. Mutant. No, they, you... it, it is a mutant. It okay, a mutant. so here's our team names for tonight. This is... You got to give me credit for that when you say it on the on the show for the first time. That's good We're in game number 64. Is that right, Carl? Yes. Okay, for game number 64, here are the team names. Simone Biles is already a champion. She has three more maneuvers named after her than Heimlich does against... We just looked it up with an exclamation point against is Janine high or is that a meteor shower versus the dirty bird chicken joint versus the Delta something uh, amalgamation. <laughs> um, amalgamation. We usually take a break after the second round. If you feel like you need to take a break for whatever reason, just tell your teammates and go and everything will be in the chat so that you will be able to come back to it if you need to. All right. The first round is going to be Carl with a K, who is patiently waiting and waiting to be made a co-host so he can jump around to the teams and see how all of you guys are doing and spy on you whenever it's your turn. And I will be playing on. Oh, this is cool. I get to play on Simone Biles' team first. Okay. Carl, can you do the uh, um, announcement? And Kelly or, or um, Isabella, will you mute us, please? And so take notes, right. you guys. Pencil and paper is a good idea. So okay, the category everybody. is going to be uh, Missouri, but fairly heavy on St. Louis. Oh, cool. Right. Muting everybody in three, two, one. And you can unmute yourself if you have a, something. Usually the last for if you have questions. Yep, forgot if you about have that. something really clever to say. Yeah. 2021 is the bicentennial of Missouri's statehood. What city was made its capital when Missouri was admitted to the Union in 1821? Number two is two questions with two different answers. Either answer gets you the point for the question. What metal does Missouri produce more of than any other state? Or what is a state mineral of Missouri? And those two questions are related to each other. Number three, how many states does Missouri border? Compared to Central Park in New York, Forest Park in St. Louis is in size acreage, A, 50%, 57% as large, B, within 5% of the same size, or C, 57% larger. Number five. Fact, Kansas City is known as the city of fountains. That's not a question, that's just a fact. The question is, true or false, Kansas City, Missouri has more working fountains than any other city in the world. Number six, what mathematical curve is the shape of the gateway arch in St. Louis based on? Number seven, which of the following movies was not filmed, at least partly, in St. Louis? A, Escape from New York, starring Kurt Russell. B, Meet Me in St. Louis, starring Judy Garland. C, Up in the Air, starring George Clooney. D, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, starring Steve Martin and John Candy. E, 
The Great St. Louis Bank Robbery, starring Steve McQueen, or F, White Palace, starring James Spader and Susan Sarandon. Number eight, a sports question. How many times has the World Series been played entirely in the state of Missouri? The answer is an integer from zero to five inclusive. <laughs> Number nine. True or false, St. Louis City is the most populous city in St. Louis County. Ten. True or false, the Gateway Arch is the tallest human-made monument in the world. And then there is a last question for no points, just because I have an extra question. It's for fun only. Located in St. Louis, what is the oldest standing bridge over the Mississippi River? It is also the first bridge across the Mississippi River south of the Missouri River. All right. What is your definition? Of, what is what are you using for the definition of a monument? Uh, Guinness Book of World Records definition of a monument, a man-made object designed to commemorate or honor something or someone. Okay. And that particular question you if you google it you will find a lot of conflicting information and so i'm using guinness as the authoritative source of information okay any other questions fantastic so do not be disheartened if you don't know the answers to these. Your team, somebody will probably know and you can reason it out amongst them. It's all good. It's a social. This is fun. Just enjoy. You're learning something new, even if you don't know anything about this. So have a good time. Um, I think we're supposed to be starting to wear our masks again now that we're in, you know, crowded spaces. These small rooms are going to probably just, you should be okay if you just wash your hands and, you know, that kind of stuff. Don't breathe directly on anyone else. Yeah, don't breathe directly you, on anybody. You, this shows you still have like four people on a sign, Susan. I'm working on it. Uh, I, I haven't been assigned to a room, it seems like, Susan. Yeah, I'm going I, here. Oh, OK. So I got to look again. I got to go to a different screen to see which one I put you on. Adrian, you're on, on Rob's team. Delta. And Deborah, yeah, you are on Thank you. the Dirty Bird Chicken thing. And Robin, you are on, is Janine high? And Paula, you are on, is Janine high? Wait, right? No, wait, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, I think you're on Janine high. And I'm going to go to this one. I don't know the question is worded. It's possible, but unlikely, I think. Yeah. And I don't have another guess, so. That's good enough. Any insights, the Susan, we just got started. We think it's Jefferson. The capital? No. It's the current capital. Jefferson, Missouri? Yeah. No. No? I thought it was, I thought it was um, either Kansas City or Independence. No, it's not Independence. No. It's, it's Jefferson. I agree with Jefferson. I am just a guest here. I... I, but, but, but as, but as we, as, as Julie and I both said, though, that doesn't mean that it was Jefferson when they were admitted to the state. We think that maybe they were, but yeah, is that a trick question? Well, the trick question is it makes you think about was it Jefferson all along or was it not Jefferson to begin with? Jefferson, That's Missouri? I've trick. never heard of Jefferson, Missouri. That's because you don't look up the state capitals often enough. Oh no, I know my I know my capitals. <laughs> it can't be Missouri capital, Jefferson, Jefferson, Missouri. This is making me start to doubt myself. Let's move on. Yeah, <laughs> Jefferson City, Missouri. That doesn't even sound. Maybe that's why you're not. I thought it was. I thought it was. 
Well, let's move to not Kansas two. City. It's not St. Louis. It's it's not Independence. Let's move what to number metal? two. Okay, never mind. Let me what get metal there. does Missouri produce? And what is or what is the state mineral of Missouri? Or so like what? steel. I have no idea. But I guess My I'm guess would be steel, but uh, no strong reason for it. I thought that's Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Reasonable. Yeah. But then what's the mineral? How's steel made? Oh, um, that's with that's with iron. Yeah, I thought I think steel is some kind of a process of take, turning iron into steel. Like so maybe it's iron. I thought it was ore. I mean, it could be copper too, for all I know. Isn't it more mountainous, like rocky rock, rock, like um, mm -hmm. probably I sandstone? Know. I don't know. Got a lot of corn That's there. Okay, how many states is Missouri border? One, I, two. I'll let you count. I have a guess. One, five. I think it's five also. Yeah, I think so. It's hard because it has a bunch of things on the sides, but you don't know which way the corners overlap. Yeah. Who's keeping track of the score, by the way? The somebody I'm is, right? A little for this round. Because I don't ever keep scores, so I'm writing down answers. As I say, I didn't see anybody anyway. writing down answers. Forrest no, Kirk. For is which? For and for Forest Park. Is it larger than Central Park, smaller than Central Park, or just about the same size? I don't even know what Forest Park is, to be honest with you, so I couldn't guess. So here's a point of reference, Balboa Park in San Diego likes to point out that it's bigger than Central Park. Um, also Griffith Park here in LA is like massively bigger than Central Park. So I think this is like a claim parks like to make and compare themselves to Central Park. Hmm. If it's smaller size, it's probably bigger than. <laughs> yeah, yeah, why would you say yeah. you're smaller? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. So I'm leaning towards A. No, A, A, A is actually the smaller. It's 57% as oh, large. Thank you, C, you're right. C, yeah. Okay, fact, Kansas City. I don't know, but in the world? Would he have given us the fact that it's called the city of fountains if that wasn't a false statement? Well, a lot of fountains in Italy. There's awful lot of them, yeah. But but then but Italy is not a city though. Italy is a whole country. Okay, Venice. But it says in the world. Oh, any other city? Oh, I always see what you mean. Yeah. Like Venice would probably have a lot, but yeah. maybe not as many. Yeah. It seems like an extremely high claim. I, I'm 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 good with false on five. I like false. Okay. okay who's who's going to do the math on number six? Oh, I believe it's a parabola. It's yep. a parabola. So that makes sense. I agree. John, you're a teacher, right? What do you teach? A oh, Robert, I mean, sorry. I'm a social science teacher. Ooh. Not math. He so doesn't no but it's a parabola. He doesn't teach parabolas. <laughs> <laughs> what level do you teach at? I teach 10th through 12th grade. No. Aw. That's cool. I love the I love social studies. My favorite. I, my degree is in social history. Absolutely, everything is social history for me. So you're on summer break. I'm on summer break. Yes. That's awesome. Well, kind of, because I'm also my school's technology coordinator, so I'm still <laughs> in a lot of professional developments and things like that. So. Well, this is professional development here. You can yes. we'll send you the degree, the CRE or whatever it is called for education credit. So in question seven, I think it's probably going to be meet me in St. Louis. I, I tend to agree with that. For no reason that I know, but it just seems like it's an old time musical. How much remote record remote filming would they have done? It just strikes me as something that would have been done pretty much. Yeah, and expensive. As much on the back lot as possible. So I, I will agree with that. Okay, World Series entirely. 
that's really hard. To, that would mean well, well, that both teams are, are um, both in Missouri, right? Yes, and I think that's only St. Louis and Kansas City. Oh. Are you sure Kansas City isn't the capital? Wait, there's like a U.S. league and a something else league, and they take American, the American, and, uh, American, American league. league and National League. So they have, they, be, they have to be in, they have to be in opposite leagues to play in the World Series together. And Kansas City is in the American League, and St. Louis is in the National League. Okay. So I don't know if there was ever a a time that they you know that they were. That either never, of those teams was winning. <laughs> well, I know Kansas City was in the World Series recently, and oh, yeah. I know, and I know that because a news writer who mostly writes for soccer is a big Kansas City fan and wrote a whole lot about that. Um, well, when I was living in Missouri in 2004, the Cardinals went to the World Series and lost to the Red Sox. Yep. So that wasn't too. Julie, soon. you didn't tell us you're the ringer for this category. <laughs> I was there for four months. <laughs> well, that's more. I went there for like a week. So you are the expert in this category. I sure am. <laughs> um, <laughs> Very useful. Well, well, basically, we just have to pick a number from zero to five. I yeah. think it's probably one. That's right. Let's 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 go with one. One it is. Hey, now St. Louis is most popular city. I think that's probably correct. Kansas City's big, but Kansas City's got lots of little Kansas cities around Kansas City, it. Kansas City isn't in St. Louis County. St. Louis County. But I think St. Charles is bigger than St. Louis. Really? Oh, you don't think that that's the, the capital? No, that's not the capital. No. St. St. Charles is a, is a suburb of St. Louis. And from what I recall a number of years back now, of course, I'm going back almost 30 years, but um, most of the People, help. Most of the people in St. Louis lived in St. Charles and traveled into St. Louis. Carl, I, go to, go to um, the Delta Variation Algamation. They're asking for help. Okay. Uh, I, I shouldn't say most, but I know that St. Charles was a very large suburb of St. Louis. I think, I think St. Louis is bigger still. Okay, we, we'll, I mean, if everybody else is in agreement, I'll go with St. Louis. I don't know. I don't have any. Robert, it's, have any it's okay to argue because that's the thing all the time. You'll get more kind of just argue. I don't, have any just, <laughs> I don't have any justification for, for St. Charles. I just I just kind of feel like St. Louis was a, uh, you know, is, is a trick question. Yeah. But, but, uh, but with the earlier one is the same thing. The trick question is to make us say, oh, that can't be right. Yeah, because it's the same name. Okay, I was so thinking trick question too. Number 10, the gateway arch is the tallest human. I had heard that. But is it really bigger than like the Eiffel, Eiffel Tower and Empire State Building? Or the pyramids? The pyramids? Well, That's well the, the Empire State Building, I don't know if that qualifies as a monument based on the way he described monument. It's not. It, oh, it's good not, point. It's not a structure commemorating something. Oh, that's true. Monument. Eiffel Tower might be. I think the Washington Eiffel Tower Monument is pretty tall, right? It's like Washington Monument is 15 tall. floors. I, I mean, the, the, the Gateway Arch is very, very tall. And I know there's a lot of people who have a lot of trouble going up there and looking out the windows. You could go up it? I thought it was just something yeah. you stared at. No, you can, you, can, you can ride an elevator up it. How could you yeah. do that? It's an arch. The elevator is really wild. It goes up and then it slides and then it goes up again and it slides until you get to the top. And when I you get to the top, you get off the elevators and you get into an elevator on the other side of the observation section to go down the other side to get out. Have you done this? I did 30 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> that just sounds creepy. You describing it. I'm scared already. Just thinking. About Could it. you see any other monuments while you were up there? <laughs> no, I, no, I looked over the top of all of them. <laughs> so there we have it. Um, um, I would say that it's tall. I, I, it's tall, but I don't know if it could qualify as the tallest. Do they claim it's the tallest? I don't know. I think, I think it's, Probably the tallest. Now that I know it's monument they're looking at. 
I'm okay with that. I don't know, how, how tall is the, um, oh, I can't even think of the name of the monument, uh, the monument to Jesus in Brazil. Oh, what is the name of that? Oh, well, it's not tall. It's on a hill that's tall. The, the, I thought the, the monument itself was 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 pretty pretty sizable. I, mean, I guess not. It, it's big, Brazil, but I don't. It, it, I, I don't think it's it's hundreds of feet tall. I think okay. it's just so high up. because yeah. I think that question came up on a trivia before. It just felt like it's huge, but um, that's a good point. We're not thinking outside of the United States, are we? I don't think the Eiffel Tower is that tall, to be honest with you. It seems like I've heard that many times. Caspian was there and he said that it wasn't as big. And the Washington, Washington Memorial, I think it's only like 13 floors. Do you think the do you think the arch is bigger than 13 floors, Aaron? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 Empire State Building high. I mean, you're you're talking. I think it's Empire State Building high. Like you're talking 60 to 70 floors height. And I have no idea about 11. So how have we done? Well, what, what did, did we, we say on nine? Nine, nine. Oh, you know what? Nine we said true. And true on 10, we're going also, yeah. So what do we got so far? I have Jefferson. Iron, five, C, F, parabola, B, one, true, true. What was F for? False. Oh, false. Oh, oh sorry, how clever. shorthand. Oh, how clever, these, these phrases that you use. It must be because you're a data scientist. <laughs> well, I thought it was gonna be some lines. algorithm for something. Okay, so are we confident? Mm. nobody's back nobody has come back yet mm. i'm looking at the thing but i think a lot of people do that because they're all like it's the first time there's a lot of new people in the rooms and i think that they're just like we're, we're not completely confident but we've answered 10 questions indeed <laughs> okay do 11 then what is 11 so what was the standing it? bridge i don't know i've never been to st louis i've been just i've been just Kansas City. I've been one time. It's forgettable. <laughs> you didn't uh, go on the arch? I, no, we didn't go on the arch. I Maybe would that would have made it, you know? We need to go to the arch. Let's plan a trip. Road trip, road trip. Of course, we're all coming from all over the place. My, my whole reason for going was to visit my aunt and uncle for a week. I, I, didn't, I didn't have any other reason to go to St. Louis. So while and I was they live on a bridge, hey, stop it. Don't you be pissing on her. Don't mean yelling at her. A cat's hissing at the other cat. Well, while we were there, we went to the arch. We also went to uh, Mark Twain's hometown where he was born. Oh, and right I know. Oh. that too. And right now, I can't think of the name of the town. Han Hannibal. Hannibal. We went to, um, my, my story about going to Missouri is my kids were, my mom was born in Arkansas. And I told my kids, let's go to Arkansas with my mom before her health gets really, really bad and see where she grew up. And her sister lived in um, Kansas City. And I said, let's go. Well, where I live, we don't have weather. So nobody told me that June was like <laughs> bad. And nobody told me this thing about humidity. I didn't know what that was. My kids and I got back there and were like, what the hell is this air? What is, what is this that you can touch? Air thing, like you're walking in a hot cloud. It didn't dawn on us. So we were miserable, but we went to Kansas City. They did, uh, went to a science museum. This is 2002. And then we went to the Negro Leagues uh, Museum. Caspian's really into baseball and he really liked the Negro Leagues. He's really like into the history of it. That's nice. And Truman, I love presidential homes. So we went to the Truman Museum in Independence and Truman home. Loved that. And then we drove down to Arkansas. But we didn't get anywhere near St. Louis. So... Oh, they're coming back. All right. So I'm going to close the rooms. All right. Good luck, team. Good job. So uh, we, we devised this where did portable you get that, system. Where, where did you get that material? I, I ordered it online. 
And we, okay, we weren't done, and we, we were kicked out like 10 within seconds. ten seconds. Yeah, I think a lot of people right. got kicked out. Going on. We it's doing that room. for it. It does that whenever it seems like when I close the rooms, it seems like I'll close it and then everybody comes back. So I don't know why. Is there a setting I need to change? In no, Zoom? Zoom is busted apparently. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it. Carl, you can call them or, or uh, Isabella or Kelly or somebody else recall them in a minute. So, so Adrian, what do you look up to get that? Um, well, we when we did our theater, we had a company that put in some really expensive ones, and I just used the same company, but these are the cheaper ones. So I just looked up acoustic foam. Acoustic foam. Okay, that's the one. Yep. Okay. It's giant pieces of bubble gum. She's chewed them, just ironed it out really flat. Yeah. See, yeah. here's the the ones that I just place in behind. Mm -hmm. So they're they're uh, two by two. So that's interesting that they're actually flat on the front. So we used to do this when we put a spacecraft in the chamber and we did an acoustic test and huge speakers would shoot sound at it. So it was simulating the, the noise of a launch to make sure nothing broke. And the, it looks like the same kind of foam material, but they were conical shaped. Oh, interesting. So they didn't have any flat surface to project the sound back at, at, the, uh, at the direction it came from. Hmm. So I'm wondering why for, you know, I'm wondering why this is not like that and it's flat. Uh, yeah, I don't know. The, the ones in our theater room are more, they're flat and they're more like a, a semi, like a part of a curve. Mm -hmm. a semi kind of like the St. Louis Arch. Yeah. Yeah. Are <laughs> you going to bring them back? Rob, we, Rob, we need to go find uh, some acoustic engineers and invite them into the trivia. Yes. Carl, do you want to do it? And see the uh, you know, full 30 seconds or what 60 seconds? Yeah. Close all rooms. Susan, when you put out the word to close all rooms, do you then click on that on that on, on the pop-up to get out of your room? And I'm wondering if you as the controller, if you click on that pop-up, it jumps everybody out. I don't know. You know, that's I'm trying, like, of, I'm trying to think of some kind of logic to it. Well, I was the last one in the room. Okay, so I hit close all rooms. Aaron, do you remember? Did you hit? I hit. I hit the the, the pop up window. You hit the button to leave. Yeah, but I wonder if you should leave, if you should use the, the like the button in the lower corner of the room. Maybe you should leave the room first, and then send out the message for everybody to that the breakout rooms are closing. Send that message from this main room instead of sending it from the breakout room. Maybe that's a better idea. I think you should and try Susan, it because whatever's been doing before doesn't work. Yeah. This try, this started when you started recording things. It didn't <laughs> happen before. That I could be it's a... only in the last couple of weeks. But there Post was talk, ergo prompter hawk. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's do a test when we're on the break. It'll just take a few minutes. You can do we'll just, well, how about the happens. next one? I will just come out of the room, go into the main room, and then see if it doesn't. Okay. All right. So everybody survived. Ooh, another goal to Australia. Woohoo. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he's a day ahead of us you all and he will not let us forget it but so which game are you watching nose picking uh, no, what <laughs> richard what happens to me in the future we got gold we got gold uh, i just uh, I saw our swim is... i just saw a couple of aussies ah. win some a guy aussie women win a win yeah. uh win a couple uh win a some swimming race so. uh uh, go, gold and bronze. So, uh, yeah, oh, something like gold that. and another strain one bronze in the same race. That's fantastic. Yeah. What, what time is it there, Richard? Um, what where I am? Yeah. Uh, it's cold, cold 12 31 p.m. on I Friday. Missouri. I don't get Caspian screen. Are you, are you roughly the same time as uh, Tokyo? Before I recognize no, I, no. I don't but get it. But there's not much difference. Can somebody explain Missouri the the screen to me from Caspian? So originally, uh, shoot, what's her name? Marge notices that Grandpa Simpson is <laughs> hanging a flag with forty nine stars on it. That's his response. Well, why? It's never explained. Oh, it's uh, okay. so Tokyo is one hour behind Sydney in time zone. Oh, okay. Bob, which Bob. chicken do you have right there? Once again, Australia's ahead of the curve. Mm. My son Bob? is in that time zone. He's in Korea right now. Bob, you're on mute. I can't hear you, and I don't read lips, or even chicken lips. This is Min. She's the Sarama. She's still a poet, but she's getting up. 
She's almost full grown. That's so cool to be able to sitting in your house and having a chicken pet. <laughs> she weighs just shy of 11 ounces last time I, the other day oh, when I weighed her. Mm -hmm. She gained about an ounce since I got it. Oh. <clears throat> All right, Carl, you ready? All right. So the answer to number one, St. Charles was the first state capital of Missouri. In 1826, the capital was moved to its permanent location of Jefferson City. See, you guys, I never heard of Jefferson City. That doesn't make sense. Wait, but so what's the, the answer? Capital. It's the current capital. But the correct answer is St. Charles. Right. Oh. See, it was a, it was a. Weird There's a lot of and, and I, I gather from the rooms that this was a pretty tough category, even for people who spent half their lives in St. Louis. <laughs> who? Who is it who spent half their lives there? Ben. Uh huh. <laughs> well, you, you, you don't know that. We don't know how long he'll live. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. So far. <laughs> I just created a curse that he's his days are numbered. Well, Julie, Julie lived there for four how months. How dare you, sir? <laughs> okay so the two correct answers for number two you could have either lead or galena oh, it is Missouri lead. leads the nation in production of lead and the state mineral is galena the natural <laughs> mineral form of lead sulfide oh god i thought, was, I thought it was Wisconsin. i don't know them either i think you're making this up <laughs> number Wisconsin. three uh is a fairly common Trivia question eight. Oh, good. Iowa, mm -hmm. Illinois, Kentucky, yes, Tennessee, Arkansas, yes. Oklahoma, you, Kansas, and Nebraska. Got one right. Yes. Nebraska. We got one right. <laughs> Number four. Is that, excuse me. Is that like the most? And Jordan goes crazy. It is tied Jordan with Tennessee goes crazy. for the most. I'm sorry, Carl. Repeat. It is tied with Tennessee for the most. Ah, very good to learn. Exactly what Paula said. <laughs> okay. So, Forest Park in the city of St. Louis is 57% larger than Central Park. Yes. Thank, yes. thank you, team, for talking it me is. out of my insanity. <laughs> so, is that C? The die slid us down, team. It is that located is in the heart of the St. Louis metropolitan area between the outside city limits of St. Louis city proper and the county seat of Clayton, Missouri. So, is the answer C? Carl, the answer is D. D, 57% larger. Okay. Oh, the dog. I you didn't revised. Have it it's actually C, 50 of the larger. I, I had more answers oh, originally. <laughs> condensed what? it down to so C, 57% larger. Okay. Scaring me there. I, I, I decided having more than three options was too hard, so I trimmed yeah. it down. Thank you. So kind. So so kind. <laughs> was the other one going to be 58% larger? No. <laughs> there were two larger sizes, two smaller sizes, and oh. a medium. All oh. right. And I said, that's, no, they just need to know larger, smaller, or same. That was fair. Okay. According to best sources I could find on the internet, and I looked at over six different sources because you can always find conflicting information about this stuff online. And you know we're such a pain. Rome has more fountains than Kansas City, but Kansas City has the most functioning fountains of any oh. city in the world. <laughs> Even the like fountains are in like different all those, and do not they're work. Like, oh. They can do like Bellagio and stuff, stuff like that oh. in, in Las Vegas. Kansas City has lots of fountains. I don't consider a non-functioning fountain a fountain. It's just a monument. <laughs> <laughs> it's a place it's a dry where well. can go it's a dry well. Yeah, but how tall is it? <laughs> <laughs> so for number six, I will accept catenary or weighted catenary. Oh, oh I was right. Sorry. Sorry, Avi. That's the name I couldn't remember. <laughs> That's the name I've never rabble. heard. <laughs> Avi was going for that. We talked him out of it. Okay. And we have the data skeptic. It's inverted. So yeah, it's for inverted. number seven, yeah. I was going to play a, a clip of one of the movies that was filmed in St. Louis. But I don't know. It's got some f bombs in it, Ben, and you've got Jordan mm -hmm. right there. I remember recording it. Planes, wow. trains, and automobiles. Uh, like they heard it come out of my mouth before. I've heard it so okay, many so times. just sing it to us. I will. Sorry, Jordan. I think I've already dropped one in our room. 
It's the Steve Martin scene at the return rental car. Yeah. I, I want to see. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Welcome oh. to Marathon. May I help you? Yes. How may I help you? You can start by wiping that fucking dumbass smile off your rosy fucking cheeks. <laughs> Then you can give me a fucking automobile, a fucking Datsun, a fucking Toyota, a fucking Mustang, a fucking Buick, four fucking wheels and a seat. I really don't care for the way you're speaking to me. And I really don't care for the way your company left me in the middle of fucking nowhere with fucking keys to a fucking car that isn't fucking there. And I really didn't care to fucking walk down a fucking highway and across a fucking runway get back here to have you smile at my fucking face. I want a fucking car right fucking now. May I see your rental agreement? I threw it away. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, what? You're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see this. I have a fun fact about that. It's a great film. That is great. That was yeah, actually so. filmed in Lambert Airport in St. Louis, as were the scenes outside. The The answer of which movie was not filmed oh, okay. in St. Louis is Meet Me in St. Louis. Ah, All right. Yes! Oh, yes. Yes. Okay, it seems like everybody Get this got correct it. I think everybody got it. <laughs> you have to do some very careful Google searching because many, many lists of movies filmed in St. Louis actually is a list of movies set in St. Louis, but not filmed in St. Louis. Hey, Carl. Yes? If, if I can say something about that, a fun fact I just learned a couple months ago was that was the all-time record for the amount of F-bombs dropped in a single movie at one time ever. <laughs> hey, now there's a trivia one. Remember that, you guys? Some, uh, nobody's until ever until done the South Park swearing. movie came along. Nobody's ever done a swearing one, so mm. category and swearing. Thank so you. Susan, so Susan I have to say that one of your favorite expressions is we can figure it out. We actually did that for number seven. So there you go. Oh, there, well, you, there go. you go. Yeah. It so uh, the answer to number eight is twice oh, uh, 44 SBN. World Series and the 85 World Series. I knew it was at least one, but I couldn't think of the second one. Darn it. I, I forgot about the, the St. Louis Browns. Yes. Oh. Oh, I, I wouldn't have got that. And I had a really confusing question that I left out because despite the fact that the Cardinals played a team called the St. Louis Browns in the World Series once, at one time, the Cardinals were named the St. Louis Browns. Ooh. <laughs> After the St. Louis Brown stockings, but before the St. Louis Perfectos. Hey, wasn't there a Dr. Demento song about the St. Louis Browns? The Browns? Don't you guys remember the Dr. Demento song? I don't know who that is. Wait, 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 wait. I know who wait, Dr. Wait. Demento is, but I have no room to call How a song. I don't know who Dr. Brown. Demento is. I, yeah, I, I, I must have missed it at the same time. I missed that comic strip that uh, everyone's supposed to know. It, he's a DJ it. who plays he, parody records. He, he's kind of responsible for uh, Weird, Weird Al. Al. Yeah. He played yeah, like Barnes and Barnes and yes. um, Fish Head. Right. You know, Fish Head and a fish Weird Al Yankovic and all that and stuff. Really it's a radio fish show that's on yeah. every like, Sunday night. Well, oh, man, Dr. Demento was out of Culver City, California. Anybody else want to admit that they don't know who Dr. Demento is? I have one of his albums. Kelly, Wilma. Thank you, Wilma. Young, young Thank you, Wilma. Won't, won't remember Dr. Demento. I don't. I don't I, remember. This is Isabella? news to me. Is he still on the radio? Nope. Oh, this is an American thing. Is he still alive? No. What's no. a radio? <laughs> What's a video? <laughs> What's a radio? They used to have a Okay. Oh. So, for number nine. The city of St. Louis is the largest city in the St. Louis metropolitan region, but the city of St. Louis is not in St. Louis County. Yes. <laughs> Chesterfield is the largest city in St. Louis County because the city of St. Louis seceded from the county in 1877 over a tax dispute. Whoa. <laughs> we got it right for the wrong reason. 
Look at all yeah, the drama. I figured a lot of people would get that right for the wrong reason. <laughs> There's drama in this town. That was actually our discussion, Carl, is, is we actually figured it for the proper reason of, I was like, I had to double check. I'm like, wait, I don't think the city is part mm. of St. Louis County. There's so no this was a trick independent question, city no Carl. County. Trick question. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't really a trick question. It was a tricky question. A yeah. tricky yeah. question. But that's, that exactly. was our big discussion was, wait, is it part of the county? And I'm like, I, from my memory, I think they're separate. So thank and God. I figured a lot of people get it right for the wrong reason, just because, hey, if he's asking the question, it mm. must be false. Right. And according to the Guinness Book of World Records, the arch is the tallest monument. We got one more uh, right. What? Yes. 630 no. feet tall. Monument. Taller than the pyramids? Wait. Monument. It's taller than the pyramids, yes. No, uh, because aliens. The pyramids aren't Aaron actually that in... large. The one in Las Vegas is actually bigger than the freaking real one. What? Erin went up yep. in the in the in the arch and she says it's really big. My wife went up. It, it's yeah, really I, big, I but it has really out. tiny windows. Yeah. Yeah. Like smaller than my laptop screen and just for bragging rights the eads bridge opened in 1874 it was the first bridge built across mississippi south of the missouri and it is the oldest existing bridge across the mississippi have the, en uh, have the engineers checked the underlying structure recently yeah. yes. <laughs> Uh, it, it currently well. carries road traffic and the St. Louis light metro rail system. Gary. Huh. We need an infrastructure uh, bill to fix it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, get rid of that old junk. Very good. <laughs> good job, up, Carl. First like... bridge to use structural steel in its construction. I always oh. like categories where I learn something new. Very good. I, I think that it's fun to learn about geography, too. Dr. Demento is the same age as my mom. She turned 80 today. And if anybody Aww. wants it, happy birthday to Adrian's mom. If anybody wants it, there's a copy of the trivia round in the chat you can download. Oh, okay. Very good. Okay, so let's go with delta variation algorithm. <laughs> let's get that out of the way. We have five. I got six. Which one did you? Hmm. Uh, three, four, seven, eight, and nine. Which well, other number one, you... one? Was it one Jefferson City? Did I miss something? No, you, no it was St. Charles. Charles. Oh, good grief. Okay. You moved to St. Char uh, St. Jefferson City. A Sorry place that. that I've never heard of. In Jefferson City. City. The Dirty Bird Chicken Joint. Five. Five. Is Janine high or time. is that a meteor shower? Five. These are so weird. Um, we just looked it up. Here comes Mike Wolf. Four. So who's going to get Mike Wolf? Uh, Simone Biles is already a champion. Four. Four. What was the four? We got uh, one, four, seven, and ten. We said Jefferson for one, didn't we? You got three. Oh, it's three. not Jefferson City. It's not it's Jefferson City. Charles. It's not Jefferson City, it's St. Charles. Three. Well, well that answers the question. Yeah, it's going to be a Mike right. Wolf. <laughs> I changed some of our answers. Wait a minute. I think we really did get eight. All part of my cunning plan. Right. Very to cunning Mike. plan. Now you Mike, have Mike Wolf. Everybody wants Mike. Oh, cunning. So Mike, hello. Mike, you're on. Simone Biles is already a champion. She has more. She has three more maneuvers named after her than Heimlich does. So that will be your team because the score is three, four, five, five, five. Just like my score whenever I'm supposed to be on um, Skeptics on the Dice game. Five, five, uh -huh. five, five, five. All right, very good, everybody. Good job, Carl. Let me remove your 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 powers that you, special powers you had. I just can't find you on the damn screen. I like that, Carl. That was an interesting mix. It was good. I really liked it. Right. Susan. Okay, category. Susan. Yes. Would you let my computer in? Where is it? Isn't it? It's at the front door. <laughs> I, see, I don't see it. In the house. I don't see a computer anywhere. All right. I'll click. There it is. No, it isn't. Well, yeah, I'm I'll click it again. Okay. All right. 
I did. I refreshed it, so it should. Okay. Do you guys see it? I don't see it. I I see him. Yeah. He's trying oh, to come wait, in on a second time. Yeah, here it comes. Oh, here it is. Okay, yeah. Okay, we're gonna remind right. me to put that in the room. It's supposed to go in. Well, okay. I I just I hooked it up late, so. Okay, now this is going to be a different category than we've ever done before. So I have no idea how much you guys are going to like it. It's audio. It's Richard Saunders. It's doing mm. audio. Don't, right. don't make that noise, Rob. There's an audio for you. Rob, <laughs> your, Rob your music <laughs> categories are basically Rob. audio. Yeah, they're audio too, sort of, I guess so. Yeah. yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a file here, which I'll share sc um, screen with you all. It's, it's just going to go, it's going to run through once. So pay careful attention. But before you go to your rooms, I will put a link in the chat so you can look at the same file in YouTube. Uh, so excellent. That's what I was afraid of you weren't going to do, but that's great. No, 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 no. That would be, that, that would be very unfair. Be really mean. Uh, so let me see if we can make this all happen. Now, what's the category? Uh, the category is sounds. Oh. That's the category is sounds. Okay. So wait a minute. Richard, so what I'm going to do. Is Sorry? that there like, what's that noisy? Who's that, so, yeah, who's so, that noisy? Whatever the heck it is. I haven't listened to it for a long time. <laughs> who's yeah, that noisy? So if I go share screen, I say share <laughs> sound. I do yeah. that. And hopefully you can all see that. Yeah. Mm. Says, good Lord. Ready? Says good Lord. It says good Lord. <laughs> <laughs> can everybody can everybody hear me get a okay? pencil and paper you're gonna so, need a so is, is this going to be it so that it's going to say at the bottom it's not going to all be named that movie it'll be something and we have to do whatever it says right basically watch the screen and follow the bouncing ball and all Eating shall be revealed in three two one richard you'll have to unmute i'll unmute so if if, if uh susan i'm going to pl start playing in a minute there's two seconds where it is dead silence and the sound start if you don't hear anything just can you wave so i know i've done something wrong here we go that should be playing <laughs> We have a translation airlock on their audio signal. We're taking over this conversation now. I talked to Ben Hubbard yesterday. Said that, that he'd be happy to help out from now on. <laughs> Mother. I know, son. I know. Do you know where you're headed? I told my husband, if we have to go to the White House, okay, I will go. But I'm going as myself, and it's too late to change my pattern. And if they don't like it, then they'll just have to throw me out. It, I was with a, a music publishing company, uh, and they were passing me songs, lots of them from the, uh, I was going to say from the Orient, some of them sounded like they came from the Orient, a lot of songs from Europe, um, that they wanted me to do kind of English translation, to not translation, but a new set of English lyrics for, you know. Um, one of them was this French song that I thought was really very good, and I wrote some really terrible lyric. I think it's called Even a Fool Learns to Love. All 
right. So, stop sharing the screen. That was fun. Now, Innovative. the only one I'll say is on question four, when you see it, uh, and I'll put the link in now, I need the precise item, not, not a generic item. I need the- Not the, the genre, item. but the item. Yeah, so to speak. There's the link. Hopefully you can all get that, access that, and you have exactly 10 minutes. What so go. Mm -hmm. What is ident? I D E N T. Ah, identification. <coughs> that the when you hear it back again, it's the theme music a, a TV network would use to identify themselves. It's their classic theme, and um, if you have a broad knowledge of world TV, you may or may not get that one. We'll see. I'll be interested to find out. All right. All right. Now, you send them to your room, Susan. How does it work? Richard, I, Richard, I have a question. When you say mm -hmm. you want the name of the TV network. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, I'll send or, it. To or, the or the or the or the it'll be clear um, that music is associated with a definite TV identification. Okay. Okay. Um, I'll I'll send them to the rooms. If you want to bring them back, that's fine. You'll know best, but you know how to go from room to room, right? No, I've never done that, but I'm sure I can work it out. So you have permission to be able to go from room to room, spend as much time as you want in each room, but the room that you're normally in, spend little or lesser time because that's the room that's going to be recorded. All right. Be there. So everybody can see the YouTube link? Yeah. All right. All right. This will be fun. Okay, here we go. Open all rooms. I need to put Bob. <clears throat> Let me find my little cheat sheet here. So, so Susan, I joined this room now. You can join whatever room you want. Um, and whatever room I'm in will be where it's recorded. Susan, so I'm going to go to Susan inviting you to join. We just looked up. So I go there, do I? If you want. Okay. Uh, hello, Mike. You're going into Simone Bills. And I'm going to go to, we just looked it up. What or what? Hey, Susan. Hey, guys. Hi, What's Susan. up? What's um, up? Do, do okay. people, do people know let's go through and do the ones that people know and then okay. we'll go back how about okay. so i don't know any number one i think is close encounters Wait, does, okay do you know that or are you guessing does anyone know number one? Oh. i close encounters is what i thought of as well okay does anyone, i agree with that statement does anyone know number two i thought it was the the show that had new heart on it um <laughs> nbc i'm gonna i'm gonna mute CBS? me real quick does anyone know number two it's i'm gonna i'm gonna hit myself when i hear it but i don't know it okay does anyone know number three name the movie i thought it could have been a superman movie but i don't know okay no i just kind of feel dumb saying that anyone <laughs> know number four the craze name the craze yes like I said, I, I think it's, it's one or the other. It's either Asteroids or Galactica. I thought it was Space Invaders. Can you speak louder, John? I'm, I'm like speaking as loud as I can. I, my microphone's all screwed up. Um, I, I don't think it's Space Invaders. I think it's ast Asteroids. Asteroids is probably more. You said Asteroids or? Is, is, that, a, is that a craze? It, it, it was back. Okay, so um, way, way I love video games. Way way back when Asteroids came out, and there, there were Space Invaders. It could be could be in Space Invaders. Now that Susan brought that up, but Asteroids or Space Invaders were the two crazes because it was on Atari, and then it came out on uh, um, arcades and in, in the on the machines. So, do you recall which came out first, John? It was Asteroids was first. Yeah, it was Asteroids first, but it was the craze is the question. Right, I think it's a craze. I want to play it over again because I, I I, think it's, the first thing I thought of is Space Invaders, but whenever John said um, Asteroids, that makes sense too. Yeah. Okay. But I think actually, you know what? I think it's Space Invaders. I got to listen to it again. I did. Okay, I did we'll do. listen to it again. Okay. Space Invaders or Asteroids, does anybody know number five it sounded like nancy reagan to me but i don't know it that's a good guess okay does anybody know number six 
No. Was it Sergeant Peppers? Okay. Number me, seven. Wait, 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 wait. Let me listen to number six. Again. Well, wait, let's, we'll go back and let's listen to all of them. But okay. number seven was seven, get smart. That's what I was thinking, get smart. Oh, okay. I got to listen again. But, but, okay, get smart wasn't in, uh, that sounded like Russian. Unless no, it was, it's not, it's not get smart. There was a laugh so. track right. in the background. It was, okay, got it. Okay, number eight. eight. What was the question for number eight? I forget. Definitely don't know number eight. Okay, number nine, was it Hogan's Heroes? Hogan's Heroes. Definitely yeah. Hogan's yeah. Heroes. Number nine. Yeah. And 10. No idea. So all we know is nine, pretty good guess at four, and and, consent, and a good lot, several people with one. And I think five is Nancy Reagan, but I've, I've never heard that attributed to her. It just sounded like her to me. Oh no, five is definitely Nancy Reagan. I think five. I just re to it. I think it's very likely. What about if each one of us just goes and listens to all I'm of them to. again and then reconvene? Okay, I'm going to do that. Yeah. Okay. Okay, you guys are back. Okay, I'm done. Isabella so, still listening, Karen? No, no, that we. I was uh, on TikTok. Um, sorry. Uh, did anybody right. gain any insight? Yes, I, I did. I yes. strongly believe that number five is indeed Miss Nancy Reagan. Yes, I agree. I will fight okay. somebody for that. I firmly agree on that. Um, on um, the number four, I, I'm, I'm leaning towards centipede. Oh, centipede. Uh, Space invaders or centipede? Yeah. I like, I'm cool with whatever, honestly. No, I'll, I think space invaders, honestly. That's the first thing that came to mind when I heard it. Yeah, yeah. and when I listened back, I started thinking space invaders. But you said centipede. I think centipede had more of a doot, 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 doot. that was there was like spaces in between. So I think it, I think personally it's space invaders. Okay, let's go with space invaders. And the number two, it was also Carol Burnett show was on this, um, wasn't it? I don't know what network it was. Hey, I'm back. Carol Burnett was on CBS, right? 
it seems like that. I mean, it's so familiar. I put CNN. I listened to it again and I put CNN. No, it's a, it's a regular network like uh, CBS or ABC. Some, it's an old show. It's an old. Right, number, number three. Thank hold you. on, hold on, hold on. Well, well, stay, stay, uh, stay at number two for a second. Yeah. I have nothing to contribute. I just like, I feel oh. like Susan. <laughs> I didn't even bother going back to the YouTube. Like all of this has got nothing to do with my world at all. I will, I will say, um, if I can chime in, when I listened to it the first time, it kind of struck a, a, a chord with me. And I, I know I'm skipping ahead, but number eight, I don't remember the question, but that's definitely David Bowie. Oh, is that who that is? Yay! That's eight. Oh, good job. I, His last so name really that. wasn't Bowie. He chose that because he was a fan of historical Alamo. Yeah. Yep. Um, so number one is you're saying Close Encounters. I crossed out Buckaroo Banzai. <laughs> and <laughs> number two, if it's a Carol Burnett show, wasn't Carol Burnett on CBS, you guys? I don't remember what it was, but it was it was definitely a sound that I heard on a lot of shows, and I think I think Newhart and and Carol Burnett. I think several. Carol Burnett was on CBS. Yeah, I think so too. Number okay. three, I know I've never ever seen this before. Okay, so thank you to whomever planted the seed of Superman at Superman Returns. Oh, where he's talking to his mom, and she says, "Where are you going?" And he says, "Up north." That makes sense. So is it somebody Superman or Superman Returns? Superman Returns. Oh, I've not. I i do not know enough about. And, it. and what did we decide for four? four Space Invaders. Invaders? Nancy Space Reagan. Reagan. Yes. Four. <laughs> Nancy <laughs> Reagan. <laughs> playing, playing. Nancy's playing. Atari. What's number four? Space number four. Invaders. We're going Space Invaders. Yeah. Space Invaders. Okay. Yeah. Now I tell you, I know I'm the one that said Nancy Reagan. When I listened to it again, it sounded more like Betty Ford. And I know I'm the one that said Nancy Reagan and they were television perform. They were movie, they were both actors, right? Right. But when I listened to it, I kept hearing Betty Ford's voice, but but yeah. I know I said Nancy Reagan. So I'm sorry to throw that wrench in. It's in, in that out. genre. It's in that era. Susan, what, the 10 minutes we, is just up. Can you oh. send out the, the appropriate message? Or um, is it you, you, you folks need a few, a few more seconds? Yeah, we need a little bit yeah. longer. So, All right, I'll, I'll give everybody a minute, but okay. um, we can't extend it too much. Okay, so Nancy Reagan, just stick with Nancy Reagan. Well, no, Isabella no, no, says she's no. going to fight you for it. No. Okay, Nancy Reagan. No. She'll win. What do you say, John? I, I don't think it's Nancy Reagan because when you first said Nancy Reagan, I was thinking back in hindsight. I was like, yeah, Nancy Reagan, but when I heard it, when we went back and listened to it, that's definitely not Nancy Reagan. That's I what I thought too. Yeah. Who is it you think then? I'm thinking Betty Ford. Yeah. But I don't okay. know. It's a guess. The only person who's who would complain about that is Isabella because she said for sure she thought it was Nancy. Susan, it's okay. I I, 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 I to it her sounded young and like Nancy else. Reagan. It sounded like Nancy Reagan. I have a fine with Betty Ford. It's that same era. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm cool with whatever. But Susan, if you send a message now to give a one minute warning, will that actually accidentally trigger and go and yeah i can't something. i have to call them back it, it so. seems it seems like based on previous experience it'll call people back instantly so i'm gonna wait go into the main room and call people back okay all right it's been over 10 minutes now so if you could do that. okay okay do we have a guess for number six i guess sergeant pepper i have nothing that that, that was my guess sergeant yes pepper. and yeah. number sergeant seven pepper. when i listened to it again I heard like Bewitched or I Dream of Jeannie, which we just had in the category, yep. like someone from the past. And then there's a laugh track. It's it's a it's an American comedy show. It's a character that's speaking blah, 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 blah. What's and then the there's a laugh for? You know, I think it's I Dream of Jeannie or Bewitched. For some reason, Pink Panther pops into my head. Okay, Pink Panther. No. Uh, I no? have no idea if that's right. It's a TV show, right? Yeah. I have no idea. But it, no, it is a TV show, but I just. I've I actually seen part of Pink Pink Panther, and that didn't jump out at me at all. But that yeah, means okay. nothing. Yeah, I, 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 I ex exceptionally low uh, 
confidence on my part. Okay. I think I dream of Jeannie or Bewitched. Um, David Bowie. Hey, sorry, that, those are two choices. Which one right, are you going but, with? But let's go through the other. So at least we have- We some. don't have time. David so, Bowie, yeah. Hogan's Heroes. What's yeah. number 10? I don't have 10. What's the category? It's a musical. 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 Oh, um, yeah. Not a clue. The Music Man. I mean, I don't remember the clip was. Okay. We can't hear you, Isabella. That sounds good to me. Okay, I'm going to go back and- Number music seven. Man? Back. Pick an answer for seven. Back now, this is- yep. Can you get them back, Susan? Yeah. You're, You're muted, Susan. Okay, I'm going to try to close all rooms and let's hope it doesn't pull yeah, them seconds, back in Susan. seconds. Yeah. Because it's giving the little breakout thing. It says it'll close. Um, I see that too. All breakout rooms will close in 51 seconds. Yeah, what is, when I looks really like it's working this, this time. I don't I see, see it. I, I see it because I've I was flitting around the rooms like. Oh, 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 okay. But when I'm in the room and I call you guys back, it's like so boom, every it's everybody immediate. had about two or three minutes more than I anticipated, but that's okay. I don't care. There was lots of interesting talk all over the rooms. I've yeah. never done that before. And then now I find why that's so fascinating. To hear people <laughs> it's reasoning. Fun. Oh, that's right. It's your first time doing that. Yeah, it's yeah, really yeah. interesting to listen it's to them. And very you can't interesting. help. Yep. But, but you're just lucky, Richard. It was a category that I'll bet everybody liked because when it's a category no one likes, then, then you don't want to listen to what they're saying. <laughs> Richard, about. you definitely have to listen to the recording later. Uh, <laughs> the least the part where your personal room was talking. And yeah, it's, right. and, and it's, I don't know, it's just very fascinating to listen to your, to the rooms, reason it out. And you're going to yourself, no, you're on the wrong track. <laughs> so I've still got some control. Do you need to remove that from me now? Because I'm getting. No, I'll do it. All right. There's nothing you need it for now. We weren't quite done. Did you, did you get the full time on the counter? Yeah. I gave everybody Robin? more than 10 minutes. Yeah, they got it. Okay. You leave the break room. Yes, I got the full time. Okay, we, so, we all, the time all right. All the way down for us. So every, what's that? I'm hearing like somebody. Somebody's stirring. typing really loudly. How do you? That's type? okay. How do you? I mute everybody. We're in I... that uh, episode of Night Gallery. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I think Kelly's about to mute everybody. Oh, so what I'll do is I will now give you the answers by playing the clips with the video. So I'll right. share my screen. Yeah. And you can, you'll be obvious when you come to market, which, which is what I think you'll get that. Share screen, share sound, and it's- it seems like the typing stops, so I won't do Can I get a thumbs up if everybody can see that screen? Mm -hmm. Right. Ah, yes! Yes. We have a translation airlock on your audio signal. We're taking over this conversation now. Close encounters of the third kind or close encounters is okay. Oh my God, Dreyfus was so young. Remember that one well. Thames Television. Oh, oh Thames. No. I talked to Ben Hubbard yesterday. Superman the movie, or yes. I'll accept and Superman. That he'd be happy to help out from now. Oh, so sorry, everybody. Well, I would never have gotten even Superman. I thought it was Superman Returns. Mother. Yes, it has to be. It, it can't be any of the variations. It must be Superman or Superman the movie. Yes. I know. You'll believe a man can fly. No, I don't. Yeah. I oh knew God. that I'd never seen this before. Right? Is that Christopher Reeves? It's it's no, no. it's a great movie. I've never seen it before. It's a Christopher Reeves movie, but here we go. Yeah. And Sam looks like it was Yay. Space Invaders. John and Susan. Yeah, yeah, Danny, Danny wasted I hours of my childhood. Space Invaders. I told Definitely my husband if we have to go Ooh. to the White House. Okay, I will go. But yeah. I'm going to ask myself. Good job, and Karen. Just to be clear, that's Betty Ford. Yep. It's Good too job. late to change my pattern. And if they don't like it, then they'll just have to throw me out. What is she talking about? Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Kelly was right. You'd have known this one. Well done, Aaron. 
Good job, Karen. When I did the Bewitch versus uh, I Dream of Genie, I actually played that first uh, highlight. And they were passing me songs, lots of them David from Bowie. the... Uh, really? Oh, good job. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. A lot of songs from Europe um, that him. they wanted me to do kind of English translations. So not translations, but a new set of English lyrics for, you know. Um, one of them was this French song that I thought was really very good, and I wrote some really terrible lyric. I think it's called Even a Fool Learns to Love. The song he's talking face. about, incidentally, was uh, Life on Mars. That ah. was, yeah. yeah. Hey. Hey, I did this one I won nothing. Of that. Hogan's <laughs> Heroes. The Hogan's Heroes. <laughs> and the final one's very quick. Uh. The producers. Oh. What was the answer to number eight? Uh, David, Bowie. Bowie. David Bowie. David Bowie. Or David Bowie. There what, is was number, <laughs> what was number two? Listen, I will, I will, I will. Thames TV. Thames right. Television. Thames TV. Television. Very fun, Richard. Yay, Thank that you. was good. That was good a lot idea. Of fun. What was the answer to six? Sergeant Pepper. It was? Okay. Of course it was. <laughs> now I won't be I won't be strict about it. If you put Sergeant Pepper, we know what you mean. You know, yeah. I could have said the exact title of the album. Yeah. That's that's cool. Yeah. The Beatles. Yeah. yeah. That was very, very good. That was a nice category. Oh, that was fun. That was that was difficult. <laughs> the next one I do will be completely Australian soap opera theme. So. <laughs> <laughs> we'll subscribe now. <laughs> how, about, how about five second clips from the skeptic zone? We have to name the number of the episodes. <laughs> That's from 653. Trivia and there's trivia. That's cruel. That's cruel. <laughs> that, that'll be fine if the five seconds are from that section of his introduction. That's oh. right. Yeah, Welcome to this. That's right. Although, I had a category for plus or minus 10. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, I just saw the Peggy's also Hufflepuff and Karen's Hufflepuff. Look at these. This is so nice. I got my Hufflepuffers here. Yeah. I, Hufflepuff. I see you changed my name, though. To who? You did. It's just Rob Palmer. I had a lowercase. You. Uh, I can't stand it. Lowercase. I know. <laughs> My name, you. No lowercases. We don't have lowercases in this in this world. All right. So let's go with. You need to read more E.E. E. Cummings poetry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> is Janine high or is that a meteor shower? I could, she marks up every one of her E.E. E. Cummings poetry. <laughs> Six. Six. The dirty bird chicken joint. Don't rush me. All right. Don't everyone answer at once. It's either four or five, but I'm not sure. Was, I have four. Okay, four. I was on mute. Sorry, I thought okay. I was. The Delta people. <laughs> the what? The, what? Seven. the Delta <laughs> variant people. That's us, Rob. Seven. <laughs> Ooh, nice. That's a lot. Okay. We just looked it up. I think we have seven. Ooh. Ooh. But you didn't look it up. No, we didn't. <laughs> oh. But we're going to now. Seven. I'm assuming Bewitched was correct. No. Yeah. Oh, was oh. I dream, dream of Genie. I dream, I dream of Genie. Genie. Oh, see, you have to actually say the answer instead of just showing the clip. I'm sorry. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, so we have six. Okay, My bad. Six. So, si Simone, Simone, Simone Biles. Six. Okay, so we've got a little separation now. Here we go. Oops. Get to the right screen. I've only got like 10 screens open here. So some Simone Biles is at nine. We just looked it up at 10. Janine, 11. Dirty Bird Chicken Joint is at nine. And the one that's in the lead at the moment is the Delta variant. Yay. The Delta, the Delta because variant. the Delta is Very taking dominant. over, right? It is the Delta taking is, over. Yeah, That's pretty right. scary. Just out of curiosity, did any team get David Bowie? Yes. 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 Oh, excellent. excellent. John yeah. got David Faith, Bowie. Faith knew. So I, I, I knew the I knew the I Jimmy Genie because I don't think you were here a few weeks ago. I did I Jimmy Genie versus Big right. Well, and and in preparation for that, I actually I actually watched the pilot for both of them, and that was the pilot episode. Yeah. Yeah. 
That was, oh. that was taken from the I, pilot. I, actually, I suggested I dream of Jeannie. I think my team didn't yeah. listen. Because no, I, like to pat, because I like to pat myself on the back. I did the same thing. I said, I think uh, it might be uh, Jeannie. And then we all discussed it and decided, no, it's not that. Karen, Karen said, <laughs> either I dream of Jeannie or it's, it's uh, Bewitched. Bewitched. She just didn't know which one. And it was like, mm -hmm. I wouldn't have even gotten that. So very good, you guys. Good job. So let's take a picture. And then we'll take a five minute break and come back. We gotta let Dallas go pee on Pebble Beach. Mm, what? That's, what? Peggy's dog has to go out and pee oh. on the Pebble Beach. Susan, please never say that again. I was I thought someone was actually gonna go and pee on a beach for a second. Team name. <laughs> oh, Susan, I have a funny story. Susan, okay. I have a funny story I think you'll enjoy. Okay, so, let me take a picture. Robin, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. Everybody smile at the camera. I gotta open up the darn thing. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Okay, let me see if I got it. I'll move my snipping tool over. Paula's down here by herself. Okay, let me save it. And we got to tell the story. What's the story? Okay, so um, I was at work because I lifeguard. And um, I, this was like 20 minutes into my shift on, when was this? This was on Tuesday. And this kid, I guess, decided he really needed to go to the bathroom oh, no. and decided to drop his pants and pee in a rose bush. <laughs> a rose bush? Where is this? this uh, Shamisol. <laughs> you no. gotta go. You gotta go. Just pick him and go to the pool. Bush, that is especially it's, with the thorns. I've been to Shamisol. They okay, have so that he was, there. He, he was three. And then I'm like, the oh. lady was in the pool with her kids. And I was like, ma'am, your kid just peed in a bush and she was like oh he does it all the time it helps keep the deer away at our house <laughs> you know what he's gonna go. he's gonna be just like that when he's grown up yeah. it's Bye, I, I see that not changing yeah. it's not Bobby. bad yeah. for a three-year-old he's leaving yeah so oh, uh, that was night, minutes into my third Hi, into my shift um Bobby. and yeah Bobby. But besides that it was a pretty uneventful day besides <laughs> that happening um, but I felt like it was worth sharing. They'd get that a kick out of it. On his 21st birthday, buy that kid bush. and hold my beer t-shirt. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll be right back. The video is still recording, so keep that in mind. If you're talking about me, I, I'll know. Mm -hmm. Let's all tell jokes about Susan. Mm -hmm. Five minutes, you <laughs> Five guys. Minutes. Five break. minutes. Isn't Susan great? Yeah. <laughs> I heard an open five minutes to uh, attack Susan. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's never five. Oh, so anyone here, did Susan stay? Am I still doing a category later? Or does she have someone else doing it? I was late. Anyone? No. I don't remember her listing who all of the categories, who was doing all the categories. But I don't know if she would have, well, I guess, I guess she wouldn't have a choice. I was gonna say, I don't know if she would have thrown you in our room since we had a category person in our room, but coming in late, she wouldn't have a choice. Everybody had a category giver in the room. So well, I, don't know, I don't know whether she's thinking of you as it. You'll, you'll have to check with her. So now that there's like three of us here, can you guys hear me okay? Um, somebody who just said, can you hear me okay? I can hear you, but your voice is faint. So if you're trying to get into a conversation, make sure to gesticulate or something visually so we know. <laughs> That's, it. That's it. Yeah, you, you are very muted coming over my speaker. Uh I've been trying to fix this. Um, I have the like mic right here, but they said it doesn't matter how far away I hold it, they can hear me the same. So, so I don't... you'll have a recording of this. And so you can go back and look at it. So go ahead and experiment now, moving it close to your mouth and away and see what happens. I use my magic wand. Check, check, one, two. That's check. pretty good. Very good. Okay. So it's, it's this mic. Okay. Yeah, that was pretty good. All right. Is it been five minutes? Susan, Mike's trying to find out whether he's doing a category tonight or not. Mike, yeah, of course. 
Oh, hey, Su hey, Susan. Yeah. I have a question. Okay, so like next week when I come back, um, can I just I pick a category and I come to you, or how how do I play a few rounds, play a few games before you try to do a category because you will get reamed. <laughs> <There's>, <laughs> they're creating a cat. Everybody will tell you creating a category Ooh. is a hell of a lot harder than you think. Um, I don't you have, have to get used to being yelled at. Yeah, <laughs> I have no spaces open next week because they're already taken. Caspian, Robin, Kyle, Isabella, and Gail's doing bonus, possibly the week after or the week after that. But try some before because, you, like I said, you'll get killed. It's it's um, the people who are doing them for the first time will tell you it's hard. John, if you if you have friends that you can read the question, if you can create a set of ten questions and read them over with a friend. And see if they say that makes no sense. I don't know what you'd be asking. Yeah, you know, they'll they'll help clarify the questions for you before you come in and, and throw the questions right. out. The okay. other the other rule that we've learned is really has to be uh, is that you really have to have one answer. We used to do it where how how do I explain it? Where you could like three parts or four parts for one yeah, for one point. Right. Yeah, no. so it has to be separate points. But what? play a few few games and then just let me know I'm, I'm ready to do a category and then we'll we'll do it that's fine right. that's how everybody's done it but usually we i don't want to scare anybody by anybody being attacked no you wouldn't scare me i'm I, I, <laughs> he's like I, you won't scare me i've been Don's like, you can't scare game. me there you go. Game he scares me like you've been what john I, i'm sorry <laughs> i didn't mean to scare you no I, i've been playing trivia games since i've been like really really little so like i love trivia oh good so, well we're not really playing trivia that much it's kind of like i don't know what what would you guys call this trivia I, I think, I think, structured social discussion. trivia with i Susan. think your description of social trivia is very good but john very specifically what she does is when you want to do a category you let her know and she fills people in four categories and then the bonus round and you'll see what the bonus round is tonight so she just fills them in in advance and if someone's plans change she's always got something in her pocket or some of the players have them in their pocket ready to go right so you'll know like two weeks in advance before you're doing a category because they're already filled girls that's okay. a point girls oh, can I, can i'm talking I... to my dogs they're they're rough housing here and oh, they're a list of categories that we've done previously what? but if no. you're inspired to do one what are the Very odds good. that you're going to do the same question so quite high i'm i'm going to do doctor who just oh. no you're not <laughs> supposed to tell us what you're going to do because then we'll all start reading the wikipedia will, page for doctor who i will pick something else then i, I yeah got... pick something that we haven't done or it could be a okay. double fake and you okay. could still do doctor who but pretend like you're not going to do doctor who Oh, there are, I'll just say you what, John. There are a lot of Doctor Who fans in this group. I, I, I'm awesome. not. That's not that I don't like Doctor Who. I don't really know about it. But a lot of people here do know a lot about it. So no. there's on Facebook on the on the link that you clicked on to get in here. I have all the categories we've done, and they that. are crazy. A lot categories. of them. There's a lot. Yeah, well, 62 games, five five at least for each game. Okay. Also, one thing we've all learned is that it's the, it's the most fun when you can get about between 70 and 80% of the questions right. Uh, so dumb them down. The attorneys and the, and, the, um, and the astrophysicists are really yeah. happy. Uh, <laughs> and the, always the make them easier than you think. think they are. Yeah. John, they're, this they're group easier really to use loves than they are to everyone else. This group cannot get enough of one category. Feel free to do it over and over again. Punch and Judy. Punch it's and called Judy. Punch and Judy. <laughs> well, Lighthouses, Punch and Judy, according to RogerDebert.com. Okay. <laughs> They're teasing you. That's the worst categories we've ever done. And they've all, they will not let us forget. <laughs> Lighthouses wasn't a worse category. It was just really difficult. No, that was worse. Yeah, was Lighthouses not. was awful. But part of the problem is because in that case, Lou said, well, everyone will know all of these. <laughs> and like nobody knew any of them. Yeah. And you guys, we had to know yeah, the what actual name of the lighthouse. Not yeah. Yeah. Like Within two happened. centimeters, how, what's the diameter of the largest lighthouse in Norway? You know? <laughs> <laughs> what is the oldest lighthouse in the world? Lighthouse. The original name of the lighthouse, not where it's at. Oh, I know that. Like, was what little tiny town? And in, in southern Chile, 
Uh, is this like and you there? must name it yeah I, I i don't think we need to go over the category again it's, true. <laughs> it's, it's bringing back bad memories but, but, Lou, but where's lou we're like, triggering leonard's ptsd for the <laughs> <laughs> he can't he's, he can't seem to make it he keeps telling us he's gonna come in and then he says i can't make it okay so let's do quick announcements and let's go to um to kevin so uh let's start with Saunders, where are you? You still here? I've just come back. Can you see me? Yes. <clears throat> All right. Coming up on the Skeptic Zone podcast on there the 1st of August, 2021, huh? episode 669, we cover more Sydney wackiness with the anti-COVID protesters, or should I say the anti-mask protesters. The newsletter from Australian Skeptics, read by Adrian Hill this week. Uh, we look at uh crazy covid mail outs householders are getting in australia trying to tell them not to get vaccinated and not to wear masks and trove segment this week this week looks at psychics and murder murder murder, murder. murder. all of that coming up on the skeptic zone podcast at skepticzone.tv very good i never miss it and always stay yeah. for the dice game or whatever's at the end <laughs> uh, oh, there, there, there's a very funny look at, at the end of this week's episode. Hello, Deborah's kitty. Hello, kitty. I'm talking to you. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. Um, where's Kyle? Hey, hey. Oh, there you are. Okay, you, the screens moved you guys around. So, Kyle, what do you got coming up on Data Skeptic? Yeah, this week on Data Skeptic, our latest release, I speak to a researcher who studies the weather. Turns out weather is really hard to predict. And we talked a little bit <laughs> what? about what? why. But actually, under certain circumstances, weather can be easy to predict. And that's what we get into. Uh, under these rare conditions, weather is easy to predict how we can detect and uh, take advantage of those circumstances. Like living in Southern California? Does that include Pretty tornadoes much. sweeping through New Jersey? <laughs> the weather in my house is easy to predict, I tell you. Yeah, I didn't touch on tornadoes with her, but perhaps I should have, but... Either way, we cover some good stuff this week on Data Skeptic. Because so I need one minute. I'll be right back. Thank you, Kyle. Got it. Oh, I will stall. <laughs> Can I ask Kyle Weather is easy to predict in St. Louis. It'll probably be crappy. <laughs> so the only announcement that I have that... I think you just called me old. What? Nobody called you old. I did no such thing. Who called you old? I don't know. Anyway, here's, my, here's the latest is that... Um, I got mentioned by friendly atheist, Hemet Mehta. He wrote up an article about Operation Oh, yeah. Healing. Yep. And it's got, um, I found that most people That's didn't cool. read the article, but they read the synopsis of what, Thomas, uh, what uh, Hemet Mehta wrote. There's already 300 comments or more. I read both. Hey, Did you? And here's the article that he's referring to is the sting we did with Thomas John uh, and the onion ring. It's soup. You don't like soup. <laughs> yes, I do. Two cats here. Look, I'm, I'm eating my soup for lunch. It's just vegetable soup. And the two cats. Ha, yes. Ha. And there's my cat right over your shoulder, too. <laughs> he's eating out of a, he's out of, <laughs> out of a bowl. So that's my announcement. So Go on, um, off, off. I'm oh, giving yes. you the power Susan, did, Kevin. Did, did you reach out to uh, Thomas Westbrook to see if he would do a video yeah. similar to the other thing? So I asked Thomas Westbrook. He has Holy Kool Aid, and if you guys haven't put the put it in the chat when you get a chance, Rob. Uh, the um, he said, "Oh my God, this is freaking amazing!" And then he says, "You know, I've been really wanting to do something to sell to Netflix or someplace like that. Maybe this is what I should start with." And I said, "Well, you and everybody else went. Oh. I, I never hear from anybody again after yeah. you say, What a great idea! This is what we need to do." So I, so he, I shared with him the video of the uh, the some of the sittings that I have that are blocked out, and he was just like, "This is terrific." And then weeks went by. And I wrote to him and I said, hey, did you make a decision about anything? And I haven't heard back from him. Like uh, everybody else, everybody says, this is the most amazing thing. This is so clever. I can't believe it. We should have this on TV, blah, yeah. blah, blah. And no, he's, nobody he's the, got to him. Wait, wait. The, yeah. the spinoff <laughs> spin from your story is, Susan, 
when that story came out, was it the Washington Post, the New York, or what was it? New York Times. New York Times. Times. A journalist here, Network, read it in Australia. They contacted the Australian skeptics, and I had long meetings with this journalist who was really hyped up. We've got to sting these psychics here in Australia. This is a great idea. And the, uh, as often as the case, they want us to do all their legwork. Yeah. And, and I said, okay, look, I've got a name for you. This is a psychic who I, I can see clearly is using hot reading techniques. Oh, yeah, great, great. He's on your network. Uh, <laughs> no, we can't use him. <laughs> <laughs> I said, okay, that's that's it. Yeah, we get I get I get people all the time who are like, this is this is yeah. so amazing. We gotta write it, we gotta, we gotta you, you, you know, and oh first off, they want me to do the work. What right. do you want to do? Yeah, like I'm not a, I don't write TV shows, what the hell, you know, or or documentaries. I don't do that. They're like, and then the second thing they want is they want somebody who's been so harmed. You know, hundreds of thousands of dollars. Oh, they made a big suicide. Living they really on the do. Streets. Yeah. They've, you know, some horrible catastrophes can fall on these people who. Well, fall Susan, that's the only way it's going to sell. Think well, about it. I don't want to do that because I believe that the harm is is. Yeah. It, it isn't money. It's it's the feeling of trust. That's all that. Yeah. Yeah. It's but they don't get it, and no, I don't, they don't think the audience it. does. Or maybe, or maybe they do get it, and they know what that will get rated. You know, it sells. You know. Yeah. Well, you know, it's as, just as, a, as several people have said, follow the money. Yeah, follow the money. And that's what's going on. Well, if you look at the friendly atheist thing, link that I put in the chat, I think it kind of sums it up. When you get to the chat and you're looking at the comments people make, people are just reacting to what him at Meta said, and they're not reading the article. And that's kind of how TV is. They're just going with whatever is just just quickly out there they're not going into the depth and really thinking about it they want something to entertain and something that they can really feel offended about or upset about or happy about and then it's all about their reaction let's just go with it. taking it's advantage like, of children would have done it though you would think but there's still time maybe something will come of this anyway kevin's <laughs> back now i stalled ready you guys ready okay so you've got the powers give us the category so we can boo Category is coins. Oh, it's not Billy Joel. Oh. No, it's not Billy Joel. It's going to be coins owned by Billy Joel. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. Kevin, you'll have to Un unmute. unmute yourself, Kevin. Okay. I think you should do it muted. I think that'd be more fun. I think you should finish eating. Yeah, I know that I'm trying to put the last cracker away. <laughs> the front of a coin is commonly called heads. The tail, the rear is called commonly called tails. The numismatic term for tails is reverse. What is the term for heads? Ooh. Question two, I have a photo. I will show it. You have to put these coins in chronological order. Will we have access to the picture? Right now. Take a snapshot if you need to. Those are five different pennies. Put them in order. Which one came first? Which one came last? Kevin, can we not see these when we get to our groups? I think you should take a snapshot. Someone should take a snapshot of it. Take a snapshot with your phone or something. Oh, Peggy, I have a screenshot for our group. Oh, thank you. Wait, let me take a picture with my, um, there we go. I'll leave it there for a little while because the next question um, doesn't have it. Is is E part of that? Because it's kind of blocked out on my, my side. I've got, yeah, E is part of it. There's okay. five coins there. Okay. You, you you can move your you can move your sidebar out of the way. Oh, yep. Thank you. I'm trying to find my way back in to the to the share screen. I can stop your share if you need me to. Is that what I need to do? Okay, I can do that. Okay. That's what it was. Thank you.
Question three, which came first, the Lincoln penny with the designer's initials, VDB, on the front of the coin or on the back of the coin? It's been in both places, which came first? So it's a 50-50 shot if you don't know. The edge of a coin, a penny and a nickel are smooth, but a quarter and a dime have ridges on it. They're not smooth. What is that called? And I have a picture if you need to see it. Or we can look in our pocket. <laughs> Ooh, I don't have a picture loaded. Hold on. Richard and Adrian can't look in their pockets. Oh, that's true. Wilma too. Oh, I was gonna say Wilma as well. Is, is anybody wearing pants? <laughs> I am. <laughs> what change? Can you see that thing? That picture? Yeah. 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 Okay. Goodness. Yeah, these are those things that were around before. There were credit cards, which I've used pretty pretty much the whole year, and that's all I've used on, online. Coins with edges. I remember those. There was actually a problem with uh, a lot of uh, stores that were open or whatever running out of coins to give us change because people weren't using them. Yeah, anymore. I'm hearing that. My wall was running out again. Mm -hmm. That's that's still going on. I've got a whole bunch of cho change I should probably cash in. Me too. Number five. You can, you can donate it to your favorite podcast, Susan. <laughs> what is the nickname of this coin? Oh, it's a Canadian one. See how nice. Isn't that sweet of Kevin? Woohoo! The Canadians will know. Some of the Americans will know. Some other people might know from other countries, but I'm not sure. I only know because I went there once. What's going on, Kevin? I'm trying to type it and find it at the same time. Pennies were once 95% copper. The current penny, US penny, is 97.5% zinc and copper plated. What year and month did this change? Oh, dear. Plus or minus 1.5 years. One Make it interesting. <laughs> plus, or, plus or minus five? 20 years? 1.5 years, 18 months. Plus or minus oh. 18 months. So if you have an idea when it changed, you have like a three a three year window there. So you skipped minus. you skipped question five. So just for the record, it would be like number two where you said see picture. So yeah, anyway. yeah. Okay. And, it, and it was, picture and it was the, name this coin see picture. It would be. Yeah, I got yeah. it, uh, Rob. We're okay. Good. I'll post that. I did actually have didn't write it in. I'll put it in there now. No problem. At the end, I'm going to have one picture that has all the pictures in it. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure about the grammar of that of number six. So the current penny is 97.5 zinc and copper plated. What does that mean? 97.5 zinc comma and it's copper plated. Is that yes, what that means? yes, okay. yes. Copper plating comprises the remaining two and a half percent. Okay. I did, I did not know that. Oh, and number four is also multiple choice. You didn't say that. You didn't read those. Oh, yeah, that's what, yeah, those are the, it's multiple choice. Those are the answers. You pick which one is right. Number four. It's either neural, readed, or reefed. 
Yeah, there's the, they're there. What's it called? Come say hello. Oh, Kevin. Mm, okay. Say hello to everybody, Ham. Mark's here. Hello, Mark. Hi, everybody. Oh, don't scratch me, Ham. Hey, Mark. I brought Hi, Mark. I brought Hi, Mark Edward. With me. Hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. Hi. I'm coming to visit next week, Mark Edward. What? Mark? Wow. No. <laughs> next weekend? Sure. <laughs> Why not? I'll, I'll just somehow get out of the. You break the lockout. Lock them. Kevin, yeah. did you read number seven yet? No. Put these coins in chronological order. But isn't that number two? It's the same thing. It's a different picture. Oh. There it is. Do you see it? Uh, gotta take a picture. Uh, well, there's a few dead giveaways there, but anyway. <laughs> That's right. That's important. You gotta put them in chronological order. Okay. There's something special about each one of these coins. Oh. Well, I can't say special about two of them have the date. It's obvious. The other three are not okay. ordinary coins. Okay. They are specific for a specific time. Hmm. There's something that reveals the year, even though it doesn't reveal the date on the coin. I get it. Okay. Water's running. Okay, question number eight. Number eight is whose face is on the 1978 dollar coin? The U.S., I assume. Yes, that. yes, I'm sorry. Yes, <laughs> the U.S. coins. They have coins in Australia? Yeah. Although in 1978, we didn't have a dollar coin. Number nine is the final picture. Having a hard I time don't remember the last time I spent a coin, though. It's been a while. Okay, I got to share another picture. It just takes me a little bit of time to go between screens. Hey, Robert, they're just showing in the news a tornado hitting near in Philadelphia or nearby. Yeah. Yeah, we actually had, um, within our viewing area, we had about four or five tornadoes. One was just 10 minutes from my house. Wow. Wow. That's the one, that's the video you, you probably saw. Oh my God. This is question nine. Oh, that scares me. Put these new quarters in the order. See the picture. Oh man. These are the quarter states, We the uh, quarter coins of all the states. The four new states at the bottom, put them in the correct locations between this one and This is approaching lighthouse territory here. No, it isn't. <laughs> There's, there's logic between this. Not People if you will know. know. You can the figure answer. it out. Not if you know so, the answer. This is, is right. ab it is absolutely light oh, outside. How do we right. identify the four? Oh, I guess because they have states, huh? I can, can't really see. What are, these, what are the numbers? What, what's the ah? Number? That's whether that's where if you know anything about it, I'm not going to explain it. You'll somebody in your group will know. Great question, Kevin. Okay. <laughs> no, it isn't. <laughs> yes, it is. When somebody oh, knows it, you don't. I, I get what the numbers are. Okay. Uh, when somebody knows it, and you don't. It means it's trivia. Uh, Final question: <laughs> Whose face was on the 1979 dollar coin? It could be the same. It could be different. The first time you asked that it was 78 and now it's 79? Yeah. Correct? If you don't know, just put punch and or Judy. <laughs> <laughs> but see, in even asking some questions or even complaining about the questions, you're giving clues, people. Right. Somebody knows the answer on your team. You'll you'll hurt other teams by asking the wrong questions. So you're not you're supposed to ask yourself. questions because then you'll Questions are a burden to others. Uh, questions might reveal the answers. And might to other people questions. who didn't know. Questions are the only way we ever figure anything out. True, but if you know it without questioning it, never stop questioning. We only want our team to have don't, those answers. Don't be never asking stop questions questioning. in trivia though until you get to your own group. 
Right. Anybody have All any right. questions? They're not going to reveal the answers. Did Julie fall asleep? Where's oh. <laughs> okay. I can't find <sighs> people on these freaking screens. Here's what I don't understand. Kevin, none of, yep. none of these questions have anything to do with Billy Joel. Right. <laughs> oh, that just gave it away. I thought his face was on one of those dollar coins. Yeah. 79, 79 oh, dollar coins. It it's Billy Joel and Gouting. It's Nancy Reagan. Anyway, I guess you had to be in my room to get it. Let's go to our rooms. Whoa, you want to get a room already, huh? Right. I can show you a picture with all the pictures on it if you want that. Yes, please. I took pictures. Oh, it's a bit late now. It's too late. Oh, I I'll leave pictures. it. I'll leave it as my background photo. Okay, I'm going to the third room, right? I'm going to the room Kevin was in, which is. Copy the pictures. I have, I, I have the images. I didn't copy the, the ones where we have to put them in order. I want to leave those to last because that's going to take time. Okay. I have the images if I, people want to. Well, the nine is probably pretty easy because that's an order of statehood with Hawaii being number 50. And, you know, yeah. That'll be to figure out. So, which one are we doing next now after one? Are we going to three? Oh, do we already get the first one? Yeah. Um, yes. Verse. Verse. Yes. We're going to okay, skip number me, two. Oh, let me share the screen. I don't now. know. Hey, go ahead, Gail. So that I've got the, the questions that we have, but then we can fill it in later. Oh, that's the screen with the. The two, you have the answer as ECBDA? What? Yeah, that's, that's I just wrote that down because that's what I thought the answer was, but I don't know. I put D B C A E. <laughs> Total different. Yeah, I have no idea. So me either. I'm just guessing. Answer. It's a guess. Yeah, mine was. Yeah, look back at that picture again. Yeah, which <laughs> three? Three I don't know, but four I know is readed. Yes. D. E. D. Okay. Five is a loony. Five is a loony. Yes. Oh yeah. They're two dollar coins. Oh, how do you spell Louie? L O U I E. L O N E. Louie. Yeah. 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 Ye
Okay. So, so now let's let's things... let's tackle number nine now. The 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 order. Okay, so of... they're in order stated, so we have to figure out which states are in order on the picture. Obviously, New Mexico is number forty-seven, and we just have to sort out the other three. Right. New Hampshire, New Jersey, New York. Right. Yes. Order of statehood. I would think that New York would be first. It, it wasn't though. They weren't the first to sign. Uh, yeah, like Delaware, Rhode Island or something. Yeah, Delaware Rhode was Rhode like- Rhode Island was the last one to sign. Oh no, Rhode Island was the last one to sign the constitution. That's a... Rhode Island was like the last and Delaware is like the first. Delaware's like first, I, yeah. I yeah. think New Jersey was before New York too. So yeah. I, I'd York be voting for New Jersey. New York was very late. New York had a lot of trouble doing the vote. Okay, then yeah. let's put New York at number 11. And then we just have number three and number nine. Well, then let's put I'm New Hampshire. I'm gonna go for New Jersey for number three myself. Okay, New Jersey. Okay, and then the other one's New Hampshire. Yeah. Okay, so wanna give me those answers, please? New Jersey. New Hampshire, New York, New Mexico. I can't type that fast. New Jersey, New, New Hampshire, Jersey, New, New Hampshire, Hampshire, New York, New York, New Mexico. All, all, all new. Good. Yeah. Okay. Very new. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're still missing two and nine. And these and are the put three. things in order. Do we have three? No, we don't have three, do we? Yeah, that was a toss up unless somebody knows. Yeah, it's a maybe we should toss something. Maybe we should maybe we should toss a coin for that one. Right? <laughs> we have a penny lying around. <laughs> yeah, we need a penny. Uh, what, what does VD B mean? Is that the initials of the person who made the coin? That's what I think. Yes, yeah, apparently. So who, who has a coin in their pocket they can throw up? Coins? I have a question point. is, which came first, the Lincoln penny with the designer's initials on the front or on the back? If you throw up a coin and it lands on the front, we'll guess front. If it lands on the back, we'll guess back. Okay, I got a penny. Okay, throw it up. Heads okay. or tails? It is heads. Heads, okay, so on the front first, that was actually the answer that I wanted to give anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that, Susan. Okay, I'm glad. I've, well, it's because we're on the same path of whatever. <laughs> okay, so we need so wait, wait, three is going to be front. front. Can I? So, if wouldn't the front of the coin be the more prominent one, and wouldn't they want the designers initials not to be on the front? He says it's been on both. It's been on both, so it's not like there's a good thing and a bad thing. It's a oh, it's I see. It's yeah, which yeah. one came first? Okay, got it. If they move the, front, the, the back from the front because you know Lincoln you don't want it designer initials on Lincoln's face yeah. that's what I'm thinking too so maybe, on, it's a, maybe it's a black designer and they sent him to the back okay so on question two I don't know how we're going to get this because I'm sure we all have different answers but I think a is last on number two mm -hmm. which one was those all the pennies yeah putting them in order or no, I agree a is last I have D E B C A, but I'm not I have sure. E D. Yeah, A is last because that's what we're using now, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I also have. So I have E. I can't see the pictures, but there was a weird one that was the far right one. What? That looked yeah. like a like a like a special design. It was right, like no, on the a pennies. Lincoln, Lincoln, it looks like Lincoln building a log cabin or yeah, something. Yeah, he's sitting yeah. on reading book. the book. I've never seen it before. Yeah, the a, is, a is the one I'm used to seeing, but the last one and going, is that some kind of special thing like yeah, that maybe just came that. out like a state thing? So I'm wondering if that might be last. I just don't know. It mm -hmm. doesn't look familiar to me. Yeah, I've never seen this. Well, one. that's actually what I put. Of the, my guess when I when I saw the picture was D D B C A E. So in other words, the, the, is last. I, yeah, I'm the, the E before. sounds D, right to me. Yeah, D is one of the wheat pennies, and I think the the one we use now 
is last. Okay. So it's um, the wheat penny and the non copper wheat penny was during the depression, I believe. Which ah. one's the non copper one? The B? And that's B. And it, it's a wheat penny, but it's not copper. They Oh, not during the Depression. I'm sorry, during the war. World during World War II. War II, they needed the copper. Okay. And so that was something else. So, so do we was, agree that, that, so that's B and C, right? So we have B, D, A is the last three. Let's see. I a have D as number one. Why, why do you think D is number four? Because that was right before we got to the modern coin. I think E is number one, uh, uh, if it's that old. And well, then, you know why I don't think E is number one? Because that does not look like an old uh, design to me. It yeah, looks I like a I commemorative coin. It looks like a modern Yeah, rendition. I'm thinking that's commemorative. OK. Yeah. So where does that fall? It could be today. It could be something yeah, that's- Yeah, I would have put that last, like like Robin has with A and E being the last two. A and E are the last two. So put C is first? I put D is first, and I, I wasn't the only person is who said e, that. Is, is, e a re, uh, is E a real coin? I mean, it is. is are these all real coins or is Well, it he said yes, yeah. We're putting them in- chronological order so they all have to be real oh, I, I think agree that, Robin uh, DB uh, BC AE because B and C are the wheat pennies right right yeah, I think definitely so. and we have the copper one first and the non-copper one second Wait, C is a, yeah. C is a, a, a cop C is not I agree. Wheat. Yeah, the C is one I've never seen before. I'm wondering if that's just a photo of a really, really early one. Oh, I have some of those. They're not that old. They're not? All right. No, I have some. I didn't I, realize they were that <coughs> unusual. I thought the that C was the one that was the non-copper penny. No, that's B. No, B is oh. the non-copper. So that's so from think, World War II. OK, so the D and yeah. B are the two wheat pennies? Yes. Okay. So what, I'm getting, so it would, what I'm getting from this conversation mm -hmm. is D B C A E. Is that the consensus? That's that was my guess. That's what I wrote down when That's I saw. That's what it. seems to be what people are saying. Wait, what are you saying, Gail? I'm sorry. Say it again. What do you think? I'm saying what I think people are saying in this group is D B C A E. Yes. What is that mean? The E is the oldest or the newest? The newest. Okay. So it'd be D, B, C. Am I not sharing this? I don't see the picture. All right. I, I'm fine with that. I, I'm kind of thinking that E and A might switch. No, we can see this. I just can't see a picture of coins. I can no, show. No, I don't have the picture coins. of the coins. I, can I have it on my phone. I have it on my phone. I took a picture. Yeah, of it. I have it on my phone. Yeah, A is not an old. I don't think A is a very old one at all. But do you think A beats E? Well, no, I think we've never seen e's e's an old before. one. And D D looks like just in the. There they are. Oh, there D, we go. And look at the look at the border on D. Just makes me think it's so different than all the other ones that it might be a very old one. It's a Wheaties. On E. D. I'm looking at D. Oh, D. Okay. The, 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 that's why I, I put D for the oldest. Yeah. That's what I kind of think. And then I put B after and that. So yes, we're, we're already definitely. up to World War II. Yeah. yeah B, B, B definitely follows. Then I put C because I think that was maybe after the war. I don't think so. I think, I think it's fairly new. All of the ones I have of that are really shiny. Okay, so, so DBA then, DBA. DBA? DBA. A C E. So, I've never seen E. Okay, so D, is, e, yeah. e is either really old or really new. Right. And uh, to look at the level of detail in the art of that. Um, e is really like a kid. It's like a kid's art. 
no, no. But, but it looks very more complex than what a coin uh, manufacturer could do in World War II era. It looks more modern to me. Oh, I was thinking the other way around. I thought looking at him, I thought it, it looked really pretty uh, amateurish. I don't think so. Ask the, ask the dog. Ask the dog. A lot of fine detail in that. So, yeah, the fine detail it seems to me that is very um, new. I don't know. It would take some manufacturing um, sophistication. Hey, just so it's, for it's, these are pennies. Do we see the initials? Remember, he talked about the initials being on the front or the back. Yeah, I don't see oh, yeah. Is that because I see little initials? I, I, I can't get a picture. So I'm wondering if. It was VDB or VDP or something. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, VDP would be tiny, but I see it like on this the the one cent the C one. I can. It looks like there's something. Whereas, yeah, the E. I see it on the E. I see it, it on. E. I don't see it. Yeah, I think the on the E. No, do on the it's right below the cut on the log. Oh, there it is, V B B, right on the on D. See it at the bottom where his mouse is. Oh yeah, V D B. Yes, there it is on the back. Mm -hmm. Oh, so I think maybe we should change our answer. So V D B is on the back of this of the oldest what we think is the oldest. The coin. oldest one. Is yeah. the V D B is on the back. So I think we should change. But our it's answers. on the back and in this other also. I think we're okay. I. I think. What do you guys want to put for that? Question? There's older um, ones, older pennies than this. See. Yeah. Okay. So, because there's some on the back on. Uh, you want to stay with uh, on C. three. So we're staying okay. with B, A, C, but it's B. not on the back on B. So the question is, I don't think they changed. They didn't change the mint on uh, at uh, uh, during the war. I think we should change our answer to number three to the back first, because I think you have the same penny, and I think it went to the front on the during World War II. Okay. Yeah, it looks like that's what the case is. We want to put back on the yes, three? yes. What, what, I hang on. What, what number? I, I lost track. What number is this? Back is three now. No, three no. What number back. is this question? Number three. This, so this question we, is number two. Okay. What I have add, on the sheet now is D B A C E. Is that what we want? D B A C E. And then the question, the answer to number three is back. Is back, not front. Did, did we answer the one that had the order that later on the, that had also coins? No, that's order? our next test. No. Okay, because we're running out of time as well. Yeah, we're yeah. running out yes. of time. We should do that. So let's go to the other one. Was that nine? Nine. Uh, I gotta go to nine. My Wait, dog yeah. is saying that we've done nine. We need to go walkies. to seven. I think one group is already back. We need to go to seven. Seven. I thought okay. we had this. So okay, so okay. seven. We've got the dates for three of the coins. A is nineteen forty-eight. B is nineteen seventy-six, and E is nineteen sixty-three. Yeah. Okay, so I put that the oldest one was number D. Did you say you had a, which I, one did you, oh. The three middle was turn of the century. Yes. Okay, this is number nine, right? No, this is number seven. Okay. Number D, is number D a nickel? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that, or, oh yeah, yeah so that's the regular old nickel. They're all, yeah. So, so B is, is the most recent. Okay. So yeah, B is 1976. Now D is the most recent. D is the current nickel. Really? I think it's. Oh. I think B is is the most recently manufactured, but we've kept okay. D the whole time. So everything everything else is older than 1976. Yes. Okay. I think C, it's C is number one. Okay. And I think yep. E is number two. What is, what's number two? E. No, A. 
because A is 1948. Oh, okay, okay. So it's C, A, E, A. D, B. So 1976 is the most recent coin then? <laughs> yeah, most recently. And, but, you know, D is still out there. You can still get mm -hmm. B. But I think B was made recently, 76. B well, is 1976 well, only. Yeah, but D was I, already out before that. Is B when we have an answer to number nine since we're going to run uh, out of time? I have C A E D B C A E D B for this. The C A E D B, yes. Okay. B, what is B number nine? Is not, number nine is B. New Jersey, New Hampshire, New York, New Mexico. Okay. They're all news. I had them on the wrong answer. What, Alan? No, I was back at the last one with those coins, the age of the okay. coins. I was just wondering if B uh, um, was was uh, one of those state coins. And oh, no, it's, be... it's definitely the bicentennial. Quarter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, I apologize. I'm going to need to run. Put the chickens on. Okay. Don't run. Close. Don't run. Well, no trip. I have to put my. I have to put my shoes on first. <laughs> okay, we got it, you guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the front and close the rooms in. Okay. Good Thank job, you. all. Okay, so yeah, so um okay, so pick up the conversation there just so it doesn't I forget it dropped. Um and you know, and, and let, let me know what we have to talk about and a date and all that kind of stuff. It's some recording. So okay. I'll, let you, I'll send you a message. Yeah, so I, I've given I've given the danger of believing in psychics presentation a bunch of times, so that would be really easy. But I'm actually putting together a new one for uh, recovering from religion, which is basically skepticism 101. Um, I, I don't know if your group would need that, but it basically covers um, cognitive biases, um, how our brain really works uh, instead of the way people think it works, which is like perfect, and logical fallacies, all kind of in one presentation. Okay, sounds good. I can talk about Operation Onion Ring. I have no idea what you guys are talking about, though. But I'm trying to get talks on Operation on Your Knees. You can come give a talk to our skeptic school. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. I'd love to. Tell me when. What day? Let me get here's my calendar. <laughs> okay, let me uh, let me talk to Jeff. Yeah. And and I'll know by what day. Um, I'll try. I'll, to I'll to and remind. When you coming back to training, Romero? Yeah, I know. I know. Awesome. Don't I, make thought there were, I thought there were rules about being evicted from our uh, rooms. Oh COVID. gosh, it happened again. <laughs> you got a whole minute this time, so yeah, we did. We did get the whole minute. Good. Okay. All right, Kevin. You guys ready for the answers? Go. Here we are. Number one is obverse. Yay! 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 Number, nice two. number two. Number two is D B A. E C. Oh, we have backwards. I'm sorry, guys. D is a 1909 penny with the designer's initials VDB on the back. Yeah, we saw that. Yep, that's the first one. It was the first year, and people didn't like it, so they took it off, and it became the only year that had it on the back. Later in 1918, onward, it's on the front of the coin in small, very small letters. You could find it if you look hard. Um, B is the second one, 1943, a steel penny. What, what, what? Wait a 1943, minute, You missed something, you missed something. You missed something. Giving the answers for part two. The, the next coin, A, is 1959, is the first year that the tails side has- I'm confused, what number are we doing? Bob, we're on number two. two. You're number two, Rob. I'm okay. just telling the, the logic behind the, the orders. Oh, okay. It's 1959, which is the 50 year anniversary of the 1909 coin. It has the Lincoln Memorial in the back. That was the first year. The 1958 had the wheat on it. It's called the wheat scent. In 2009, they had five different backs, uh, tails or reverse sides for the Lincoln penny to observe the 100th anniversary of the coin. And that's one of the five with the Lincoln sitting there. That's E, letter E. And the shield has been the design since 2010. And that's to signify a union that the country is one country. We get a new coin now that the election. Yeah. 
Yeah, they might have to change that now. Mm. <laughs> so do we have? Do we have? Uh, we have to have it perfectly to get credit, right? Yeah, yeah. you have to have them in order. D B A E C. Yeah. So number three is uh, it came first with V D B on the back, like oh. as shown in that first picture. Nah. And then after 1918, they're on the front. Um, the edge of the coin is called a reeded edge. All right. Hey. <laughs> you, None of us are right. The, the Canadian, <laughs> Canadian dollar coin, a lot of people got this yeah, one. Jordan. It's the loony, because it's a loony. Thanks, Adrian. I was on a good team. And then somebody said the $2 one is a toonie. Yes. No. Yeah. The yeah. penny was changed in September of uh, 1982. Oh. It was... It was copper, October of 1982, it was aluminum. Yay, so the Leonard. correct answer is anywhere between April 1981 and April 1984. Paula yes, knows it because zinc. they use it to put into water with, to see if a, a snake has peed in it. Um, it's both of them are copper <laughs> on the outside, so that would work in the coin. What? Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, really good description of what I said, <laughs> Susan. <laughs> I know, try. The only way to tell the composition of 82 penny without scratching it is to weigh it. Yeah, no, if you weigh Paula, it. Paula says you throw it into water. It was 80. But it's copper plated, so that would work with either one. And when I was doing bronze casting in college, the, you could, the, the new zinc ones would just puff into like a green smoke or whatever. Whereas oh, it the probably old burns up real melt. quick. You yeah. could actually float them. If you buy, uh, if you buy barium, oh, like that you take for barium enema, the kind of stuff that shows up in the x-ray. <laughs> You could float the aluminum ones and the sink. copper ones would sink because of the density, but they, it also reacts with copper so it might burst into flames. I'm not sure, I haven't tried it. I just know it reacts. Before we get so to- I wouldn't try it, but the density get... is in between. John I'm trying to find something. a way to, to float them in a substance. John's trying to say something. To sort them. Before we get to- Okay. Um, Wait, Kevin. Copper well, right now is- Kevin, penny, Kevin. Hey, worth about he can't hear us. Kevin. Kevin. Yes. How could he not hear us? What? John Someone has a question. Kevin. Yes, go ahead. Before we get to number seven, I want to apologize to my team. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I you do a lot wrong. of that. I was wrong. I'm sorry. John, we right. didn't know either. <laughs> We've all been there. Superman <laughs> returns, right? Okay, number seven. The correct order is C, D, A, E, B. Oh. C is a 1937 D three-legged buffalo. That's an era coin that only happened that year. It's very valuable. One of the legs got filled in the die and he only appears to have three legs. The D coin is a wartime nickel. It's got that mint mark on the back that identifies it. It's valuable because it's 35% silver and they're only made between 1942 oh. and 1945. And it's 9% manganese. There you go. Thank you. And then the 48 and the 63 are the start and the end of the Benjamin half dollar era. The 64 became the Kennedy half dollar. Damn. Say Somebody had said say later, they said a Kennedy oh. dollar. It's not, there never was a Kennedy dollar. Um, the 1976 coin quarter is the bicentennial quarter. 75 and 76. Yes. Say the order again, please. It's the C letter. D A E B. Shit. Um, <laughs> no, there was no shit on the end of that. Sorry, Ben's daughter. Whose face is on the $78 coin? Eisenhower. Oh. It was the last oh, big yeah. coin. It was big. The following year, they came out with the smaller coin, which is answer number 10. And that's the Susan B. Anthony dollar. Oh. I like Ike. The quarters in order. Those are in the order that the states were admitted to the union. And it's a definite order. And it, that's the way they were done with the quarter program. Number one is Delaware. Number three is New Jersey. Hmm? It goes Yay. Delaware, New Jersey, New Hampshire, New York, New Mexico. Yay. Yeah. So New Jersey was third, number three, then New Hampshire, then New York, then New Mexico. That hurts. That hurts. <laughs> I I mean, the last one is Susan B. Anthony. I've got a great coin I was showing my team. Where does that one go? That one goes That's right a Trump in coin. The trash. It's worthless. That goes right. Goes in the Bro. Trash. Where'd you get that? 
They sell them for about six bucks on the internet. And Novelty. Over at World what are you World doing World. with it? It's because Robert. it's ironically stupid. That's why. Robert, we flipped them too, Robert. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, every president has a presidential dollar, and Trump will end up with a coin someday. Oh. Only after no. he's dead. Yes, after he's dead. Wait, we'll wait. Celebrate. Why? Yeah, he. Because there's a presidential a dollar program based on a coin oh. in the U.S. Nixon so will get one. Hurry, can we hurry up the program? Can we hurry yeah. it up for his coin? Uh -huh. I'm done. No exceptions, but hurry it up is what you're saying. I'm saying with, uh, yeah, no exceptions. Let's hurry up Trump and let him have his coin. So, Kevin, how do they determine the order in which the 13 original colonies were admitted to the Union? Uh, I'll, have, I'll have to post the link to the Wikipedia thing. Like Delaware is known as the first state. Yeah, right, when they ratified they, they, the Constitution. That, that was yeah. my guess. It was the yeah. ratification of the Constitution. Yeah, yeah. something like that. I'll, I'll post it, the link. It can't, I be, it, it can't be when they were admitted. Delaware does not stop talking about how it's the first state. Yeah, <laughs> I, I know, but that doesn't... But you know, what you states say and what the makes sense is... Hang on. Yeah. What was the order of the states that were on the question of number nine? New Jersey, New Hampshire... New York, New Mexico. Okay, thank you. Okay, part of the thing we want to do is learn things. Do you all know the reason for the coins being not smooth? Yep. They're so blind people could and oh no, so they wouldn't cut off Prevent the edges clipping. of it whenever because they, they were when they were silver, they would scrape the edges and smelt off the silver, so they made the the ridges so they couldn't do that. Gold right. and silver. Yep, they would trim the edges and get some more. Right, and I think also there's something to do with people who are blind to be able to feel the difference between coins. And people love to uh, explain things uh, that have nothing to do with reality. Right, w wouldn't it be more important that they would do that with paper money, which is a worth a lot more money if you screw it up and they're yeah. exactly the same size? Well, yeah. no, right. the, I don't think the blind thing is there, but that was a conscious thing because yeah. people were scraping the edges off the coins. Well, yeah. I remember that. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And think about it at the time, the, the paper money wasn't a big thing to most um, Americans. It was mostly coins, especially pennies and nickels. and uh, Right. You There's know. the explanation for the quarters and how they were admitted. I think John's right. We didn't use paper money as much back in the time we were coins were much more. Well, when they made them out of gold and silver, the gold was extremely right. valuable. Right. So people would clip them or grind the edges and save yeah. little my, pieces my, of it. My, my point was, if there was already the thought process that will make our, our coinage so blind people can tell the difference, then when they introduced paper money, you'd think they'd be worrying about that yeah. too. Well, no, paper the money. Blind thing had nothing to do with. That's why. That's my people, conclusion. They fold. They fold right. it a certain way, so you know what. And uh, this, there was something about Isaac Newton having something to do with the edges, but I'm not sure if that's true or a rumor. Okay, so let's go with our scores. Um, let's start with we just looked it up. Seven. Well, that's pretty good. Um, is Janine high or is it a meteor shower? Also oh, seven. Was, I'm sorry, we were seven. So, but we were so close on the two, get, putting the coins in order. We have just yeah, one wrong. Us too. Yeah, I think I gave the wrong team's answer. So sorry. Simone, yeah. Boyle, Simone Biles. Nine. <gasps> wow, you guys needed that. You just pulled yourself way up right there. The dirty bird chicken joint. Four. Well, I think we had five, didn't we? Five. What are you showing, what you Bob? What is that? Bob verse the first order, uh, readed, uh, the loony, and uh, the the date was with. I think we had five too. I don't know what Bob is showing. What is it you got, Bob? The card from the Dirty Bird Chicken Joint, where I had supper. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a real place called Dirty Bird Chicken. Yeah, that's how we got our name. He was oh, I didn't know it was a real place. Up. I couldn't talk during the name picking. So I held it up to the camera and they said, yeah, that's it. Okay. That, that Every time sense. you say the name, I hold it up to my, my phone. So you guys uh -huh. got five, right? Dirty bird chicken I, joint? I think so. I th so yeah. We, yeah. That was really bad, you guys. Three, right? Very sad. Did we and get three, right? Three? Yeah. Okay. That's wait, the one wait, that no, I no, 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 we didn't no. get three, right? No. Oh, one, okay. two, four, five, and six, I thought. Yeah. That's, what, ah, I that's what I missed. I missed five. That's my bad. I'm sorry, team. Okay, so yes. Delta. 
So we have five out of 10. Yeah. So Delta, Thank you, you got how many? Seven. Wow, you guys, you barely held on right there. Oh my goodness. You just barely did it. So, so Simone Biles, with that nine, you guys came from, you were way back and you just now almost tied. So it's, um, Very Delta, close. you held on barely, 18, 18, 17. The Dirty Bird Chicken Joint, you gotta get it this time. Well. <laughs> We'll have to name it after a better restaurant next time. <laughs> well, I'm on this team, Dirty oh, Bird oh, Joint oh, Next. So hopefully... you didn't tell us it wasn't a good restaurant when you showed us. It was good. No, no. It, it, yeah, it, it was good. It's, it's fried chicken. It was good. He says. But you're getting into the indigestion portion of it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Saying. We're catching up this time, though. Here comes Mike. Mike, Mike always comes with something unique. No pressure or anything. Next, next time we'll name it Le Cochon Très Cher or something like that. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. Oh, yeah, like I'd really be able to pronounce that. <laughs> oh, good idea. <laughs> I write that one down. <laughs> it was in The Simpsons. It means the very expensive pig. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mike. We'll Le Cochon. Okay, so this category, a couple of weeks ago, someone was doing a cat and people were like trying to guess what someone's category was. And someone guessed this topic and Susan said, oh, that sounds like one of Mike Wolf's topics. <laughs> oh, Challenge no. accepted. Uh -oh. oh no, what did I do? And what did you do, so, Susan? I don't know. Topic. I'm gonna paste it in there. Tell you something is laundry. What? I laundry? never said anything about laundry. Laundry. Someone guess okay. Someone guessed a topic, and someone said that uh, so that should be a topic. Okay, so that's the topic. <laughs> All right. Well, that was Kevin, probably. I'm the... gonna start picking. Kevin is Kevin is still posting answers into here. So rather than are getting his answers mixed with Mike's questions, can we pause for a minute? So oh, Kevin, well, almost done. Last I one. I will give another coin question that I just made up. A lot of presidents <laughs> oh. are on coins. What vice president has a coin named after him? Ooh. Oh. Okay, uh, wow. Roosevelt. I, no, mm -hmm. I quieted the room. <laughs> um, it's, not, it's not really named after him. Just has the same name as him. Oh, so it isn't necessarily a vice kind of, It's kind of a play on words question. Lincoln. Pence? Lincoln. Yes, Mike Pence. Oh, uh, uh, you didn't say it was American. Not an American Good coin. Job, Kyle. That's and, bad. Uh, Kevin, Kevin, Kevin yeah. done posting those? Yep, all set. We go with what Batman villain is known for flipping his coin that's scarred on one side? Two face. Two face. Two -face. Okay. So now back to laundry. <laughs> <laughs> A money topic. I like it. <laughs> Okay. Mm. Um, Money laundering. Is that what you question? Mm -hmm. And I part the the answers to these. Some of the some of the answers to these questions are a little more vague than I'd like, but they're, oh, but they're they're all pretty interesting. I can't wait to put this on our list of things oh, we've, we've asked. Categories: laundry. People are gonna be like laundry, laundry. You know, okay. All some, right. All right. Some Air Force. Good everyone. The term laundry bag is jargon for what? If I'm you're talking. Now. Sorry, I forgot to. Me. So if you're an army guy and you, an Air Force guy and you say, oh, I got to grab, go grab my laundry bag. He's not really grabbing a laundry bag. He's grabbing something else. It's a what thing. Okay. Question two. Who founded the four square laundry service? in West Belfast, Northern Ireland in the early 1970s. Mike, what happened to the paste? Oh, wait, did I not paste that? I did not hit return. Okay, there's that. All right. And so now this question too, I'm not looking for a specific person. This is one of the more, it's just a general, more general than a specific person. Question three, and for, for, forgive my pronunciation, Mahalaxmi Dobi Ghat is known as the largest open air laundry place in the world. What city is it in?
Number four, the first electric clothes washer sold commercially in the United States has the same name as a popular superhero. What is it? Okay, number five, how do astronauts in the International Space Station do their laundry? Or more specifically, what do they do with their dirty clothes? They send it out to the UFOs. UAEs come by and pick it up, huh? Question six, what did Henry Seeley patent in 1882? And this is what, I mean, I don't know if you patented it, what laundry related item in case he may have patented something else as well. Number seven, what was the first brand of dryer sheets patented in 1969 and introduced in 1975? Number eight, what unexpected liquid would ancient Romans use to do their laundry? So not a liquid, like not water. You would expect them to use water to do their laundry, but they use they used another strange additive in their laundry. Number nine, what was the significance of Benjamin Talmadge's laundry in the 18th century? So when Benjamin Talmadge would do his laundry in the 18th century at some point, there was like a little historical story that goes along with that. And what is the, again, that is more vague than I would like the answer to be, but we'll be very fairly generous and if you get close. And number 10, what significant laundry related event happened in the United Kingdom on the same day that Billy Joel and astrologer Peter Nihenki were born. Billy Joel makes it in. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin, same day, something laundry. There was a, and that's our 10 laundry questions. Oh, wait, I have a bonus question that I don't expect anyone to know, but I thought it was fun. What Jonathan Richmond song includes the lyric laundromat, laundromat, laundromat? If anyone's Jonathan Richmond fans, you might know this, but it's zero points for that. But oh, that's fine. Link to the YouTube uh, song in the answers when we have the answers. And there you go. We can send them to the rooms now. I cannot imagine what I must have said that had to do with the laundry. It made you think. No, just someone was. People were guessing what the topic was going to be, and someone guessed, "Oh, it's going to be laundry." And someone said, "No, that's, <laughs> that's not real." Oh, no, 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 that sounds like a Mike Wolf question. Well, this is this looks good. This looks yeah, you good. never would do one on Billy Joel, I bet. Don't say that because you just try to. Oh no, he never would not. He couldn't do one. Stop him. saying it. You know he's not. I, I, impossible. I have, segue into something else. Not. Uh, He'll come up with something else. People's names who initials are B. Uh, Billy Joel, BJ. Oh. <laughs> never mind. Where am I at? I'm going to the dirty bird chicken joint, so I will try to help. Oh, ben lost his family. Where'd they go? They have to go to bed. You're muted. Yeah, it's bedtime. He's crying. Okay, so number one is Kip. Is Kip? Isn't it parachute? No, oh, it's your pick up. Get your kit. Get your pick Kip. Isn't it Kip? Or but the word laundry bag is the jargon. So they're saying your laundry right. bag. Another word for jargon isn't going to be. Oh. And it's Air Force. Yeah, I, I feel like parachute. Makes Must sense. be parachute. Yeah. Good. Am I sharing the right brain? Yeah. Yeah, you're doing right. good. That's got to be the IRA based on his sort of making it not a single person. Yeah, I think you're right. Okay. Northern Ireland. Mumbai. Uh, where? Mumbai. Mumbai. I was thinking it's got to be somewhere in India, right? Or 
Yeah, or New Delhi. New Delhi. Or Calcutta. Calcutta. I don't know. Mumbai's the biggest, right? Of all those, I think. I'm not going to go look, trust me. <laughs> no. Well, let's leave it there. We can come back. Good night. Is, is, is Mumbai night. On, um, on the honor river, though? Well, it's on the ocean, isn't it? Uh, yeah, that's what I thought. It's the We're south, curious. right? But there must be a river that goes in, or they wouldn't have had a city there. Yeah, that's a good country. point. <laughs> In India. Okay, number four is a popular superhero. And an electric clothes washer. I'm trying to think uh, what superhero makes the most sense for a laundry related item. Yeah, um, superheroes. Atlas. <gasps> Ooh. Is there an Atlas electric clothes washer? Well, I don't know. Is that a popular superhero? It sounds hey, like a there's not a superhero named Maytag, as far as I know. But hey, he has a he has a. Uh, I can tell when I copy and paste out of Zoom because the spelling mistakes are still in there. Pop Luler. Pop Luler. Oh, um, let's see. Electric clothes washer. I'm trying to think of superhero names. Well, like Flash, because you know it's like that was my uh -huh. done as it well. quickly. What Kelly? That was my first thought as well when he read the question, but I didn't. Flash. Like Superman, that doesn't make sense. Like Flash um, Gordon, Flash. Yeah, or like Flash because it's done in a Flash or something. Yeah. Yeah. Flash is good unless somebody has something better. Let me think. Yeah, I don't think it was Spider Man or no Ant Man or. <laughs> Kevin got kicked out. It's a Hulk. popular superhero. Yeah. All right. Flash is a pretty popular superhero. Yeah. That's why I was thinking. I don't yeah, think. I'll so get to be right back, you guys. I'll be right back. Okay. All right. I like Flat Flash for now. Is good. I was in the wrong room. Uh, well, you can. Oh, that's right. So, what room are you supposed to be in? Well, Janine is um, media shower high or something. Okay. All right, there you go. Thank you. Uh, wait, just add money. So it's yeah. always possible they just don't and they stink bad. Right. <laughs> yeah, is this going to be a trick question or is it something like, you know, they you incorporate their exercise and when they're on a bike, I like pedaling, or, or they may come. have like a, a some kind of dry thing that, that dry um, cleaner kind of thing. Yeah, like a dehydrated. Yeah, thing. You didn't like the UFO idea, huh? If they expose it to the vacuum of space, would that kill the germs and eliminate the odor or something? They they have a clothesline out in space. They do a space <laughs> walk in I like that stuff. idea. I want to see that. <laughs> if clothes will come back like an inch tall, though. I, awesome. You know what? To be honest with you, I don't think they really do it. Oh well, yeah, that's the question. Either they don't do it, or or again, do they do yeah, something I like I've heard incorporated it. into their exercise? I don't know how they I mean, could they do just it. make their clothes stinkier because they'd be sweatier. Oh, I know. Wouldn't they take like a bottle of some sort that has some water of some sort in it and some soap, and then they take it and push it into this container and probably shake it? Yeah, but that's you a know, lot of water to be rinsing with. If you ever wash yeah. it by hand, it takes a lot of water to get and, the soap out. And water, you can't, you got to be careful with water because it'll float around. Yeah. And that's why I'm saying you put it in a bottle or continue. Or how about, how about they microwave it or something? Yeah, that's another good thought too. Vacuum is great. Kill the germs. Don't they have a lot of metal on their clothes though? That wouldn't be very good in the microwave. Yeah. And they cause a fire on the International Space Station. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what did you do now? How would they do it? Susan, uh, aren't you supposed to be in the team that I left? Aren't I in the team I'm supposed to be in? I don't know. I, you, I'm in a different team. No, Mike yeah. wasn't on our team. Yeah. Nobody on our team had a, had a category. That's not really fair. So Mike's in the team in he's supposed team. to be in. No, this is right, isn't it? No. No, Mike is not part of our team. You put me in, in uh, Carl's group. So that group has oh. to... Uh, that's not so quick, Susan. Give us all the answers before you leave. But you were you were already over there. I was already 
I think I don't. I don't think it. That team was. I don't think anybody's gonna know. I don't care. I think nobody's gonna really. This is the team I haven't been on yet. I yeah. not like that much help. So <laughs> I, was, I was saying, I was gonna say, it's not really fair to this team. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. I appreciate nice that. Mike. We're gonna get it's your curve. About, it's mostly. So about what, do we have a consensus for laundry, or do we want to skip it? And, uh, uh, I kind of think it's they don't. I think yeah, the answer I, I is they don't. They don't too. Or they just save them till they okay. go home. You know, they might just get shipped back or something, you know, whatever they that's what I man and then they change them out. A lot of weight to ship back. Yeah, yeah well their clothes aren't that heavy. They have college. all that high-tech fabric. I don't know. If you're not washing them. And they're bringing you see that the, the the they're bringing a lot of heavy stuff to them. So they have cars. They use the clothes to, to pack back. the stuff with they put the socks around the to keep they it pack the suit it. like a sausage is what you're saying. It, they use this. They use the clothing to pack the. The stuff suit around. is a sausage casing. Like when you're moving, we need to move on. Let's try yeah. six. Yeah. We'll come back. What did it Henry is, Seely? Um, Seely. Seely. Was it one of those ringer yeah. things? Seely. The the key is in the word Seely. You think? I think so. It named after himself. Some some sort of seal. Isn't Seely a mattress brand? Yeah, it has nothing but to it's do with not laundry. spelled like that. Yeah, it's spelled differently. Yeah. My thought would be like the would there have been a washboard prior to 1882? You know, oh like yeah, there was definitely metal. a board. They definitely had washboards, but what about the ringer thing or the ringer washer? It might have been the ringer washer, or it could have been powdered detergent. What about an iron? No, we had irons. Unless it was a oh, steam iron. Oh, you had an iron in 1882, Susan? No, I didn't, but they had iron. <laughs> <Is> it <laughs> an iron for, for iron centuries. Clothes? Yeah, but I it could be the electric, electric iron. Uh, I don't think they had that kind of electricity then. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it was too early for that. I think the ringer washer, but that would be because because they had those ringer washers that weren't electric, but you right. but you we had put one. them in and then you yeah. It was like a tub and a, a board yeah. and a ringy thing. You know, it's like a, like two rollers. Yeah, like I, water. I, yeah. I wonder if it was. I remember seeing those in like, like the old time cartoons. I stuff. remember seeing one in my backyard when I was growing up. All right. So I, you know, it would have been pre-electric, so it would have been like a manual agitation. Yeah. A thing. Yeah, there was make. a crank on it. You cranked it. Yeah. yeah. Although that was to ring it out, but I mean a. Yeah, the like agitator. A, yeah, some kind of agitator. Yeah. What were those damn dryer sheets called? It's probably something that we use now as the generic term, like you know, when Kleenex came out. I think it's Kleenex. bounce. Bounce. So I'm thinking it's go. bounce. And they're awful. Bounce. Oh, and they yeah. just always call that. What is the most thing you call a dryer sheet? You would call bounce is probably. I was the first, and and a, you know, and lingering. Yeah. yeah bounce has been around forever, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so what unexpected liquid would ancient Romans use to do laundry? Alcohol? Well, yeah, I think it was... Uh, Wait, yeah, yeah they Bob, made that's the first thing urine. that came to my mind, too, was urine. Yeah, because yep. they, they made, like, they, ammonia with it. Oh. Yeah. The laundry, right. Oh, man, And they really? did that all well into the Middle Ages, the alleged... Yep. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. I concur. Yeah. The first thing that came to my mind was urine. First thing that came to me, too, was urine. That's, oh, that's nice to know, you guys. <laughs> left a, they left a vessel outside the door. Like when in doubt, Susan, pee on it. You know, that's <laughs> kind of an old adage. Oh, well, had to, Isabella's little friend had the right idea, right? They, <laughs> they, they would leave like a bowl outside the door of their of their establishment and people walking by, if you had to pee, you'd pee in the bowl, for, you know, and then they would use that. God, so number they were just nine. Is that what number nine? The significance of Benjamin's, hey, Benjamin. Uh, she had just in case they didn't want it. So is this some kind of signal for the revolution or something? I don't know. 18th century. Mm. 1700s. Okay, what was this? Maybe it was a place where they like passed notes to each other or something. Uh, oh, it hold could on. Be the Underground Railroad. No, that's too early. 18th, 17th. My only thought is Hercules Mulligan was a tailor and he was a spy for the Americans during the Revolutionary War. So you're saying this is where the spies hung out? I, I'm saying like Benjamin Talmadge might be someone he was a tailor for, and then like Pat. I don't know who Benjamin Talmadge is. Does anybody? 
No, I, I think it's some kind of signal for the revolutionaries. In yeah, the you would hang your laundry out and right. Oh, now I've never heard of this. I like that. This is. This is how do I don't we think wanna, it's how do we word that? It's more like a signaling communication. Thing. Yeah, it's a it's a signal <laughs> for uh, the revolutions, revolutionaries, or something. Yeah, kind of like you know where they put the mark on the door for the hobos. That kind of and it and it could be yeah. I think it has to be in the United States probably Benjamin Talmadge. Yeah. All right. Was ten a fire okay. of some sort? Laundry related. Event. A laundry related event. That's my city added Billy Joel in for Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> so that would have been what in the forties. Early 40s? Early, late 40s, something like that. 42-ish? Billy Joel isn't. Significant laundry related event. I could see like if it was um, uh, the Chicago fire or something, you know, whenever the cow supposedly knocked over the- mm -hmm. In the UK though. Yeah, I mean, but it could be something like that. Like a- that was my first thought is- Anybody well. know how old Billy Joel is? I want to say he's he? like 70 ish. Yeah, I think he's 75 ish. I so would Bill, say. So he's probably born in 1945. 45 ish. Yeah. Yeah. We'll go with 45. So Does what laundry been, related event happened in the UK? It was right after the war. Yeah, hmm. Something happened in the UK. Maybe they started having laundries again. That had to do with laundries. Was there a strike? Hmm. laundry strike they threw all their stuff know. to the street and peed on it it's just one day though apparently yeah it was on a day but i like Earth the peeing on it thing that's good earthquake volcanoes uh, in the uk no an event a laundry related event oh a laundry related event that's well, just how many laundry related events could there be a heist <laughs> they're just the art king laundry stopped laundry. by or the king stopped by and and like was held hostage in a laundromat they I mean, didn't have laundromats then like probably. the only laundry related event i can think of in general is like the triangle shirtwaist factory but that <gasps> was chicago wasn't it that yeah, was, was america that yeah. Was yeah it wasn't laundry it was manufacturing oh i Did thought it, it was be? like a, yeah but it was like a textile factory yeah, yeah, women were they, locked they were into sewing, their, they were locked in. They were sewing women's garments, except okay. shirt rates. What significant, what could this possibly be? I don't know. I'm drawing a blank. My brain's like giving well, out. Was it, Sorry. was it, okay, so was the war over by then? I yeah, think probably. so. Barely. Barely. Significant one. But it depends on how old Billy Joel is. Could it be something was invented or was like rolled out that, like, that's the day. Well, I mean, if they're just coming out of the war, then, you know, it's like maybe they, maybe they had the first public, you know, laundry place, right. you know, like. The first laundromat? First laundromat. That doesn't, it seems like there must've been a laundromat before then. Could it be it may astronauts? Not the astronauts were starting to do their own laundry. Men were starting to do their own laundry. Oh, that still hasn't happened. A man, a man found both socks. <laughs> <laughs> a man found I don't know. I, I don't know. Um, and what is the significance of the astrologer? No, I think he just put those in. Do we have all the others? Because 10, it sounds like something we're going to think yeah, about. Yeah, we do. I mean, everything else. We, we, we didn't, we were all over the place on number three. I put Mumbai because that was the first thing mentioned, but I don't know if we want to change that answer or not. New Delhi? I think it's got to be whatever's on the river, on the Ganges River, but they keep changing the names of these cities. Someone should write yeah. a letter. Related. Yeah. Happened. Stop changing the names of all the cities and countries. A strike. Something burned down. Um, uh, trying to see a, a pattern because doesn't Mike always have some sort of pattern with his answers? But oh, that's true. He he does oh, come almost, up with yeah. Oh, but I'm not Actually, coming up with anything. Don't. I mean, if it was during the war, maybe a a laundry place got bombed. But I'm sure we don't think there was laundromats, were there? 
Well, there was well, Chinese laundry. Like I've oh, had Chinese laundries. There's places where people would take their laundry and have other people wash right. it. Right. So maybe maybe they were banned or 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 had been banned and they had finally allowed Chinese laundries to come back, or maybe they I don't think they had Chinese laundries in Britain. You don't think yeah. so? Not in the 40s. Yeah, <laughs> probably not. <laughs> well, maybe maybe did. that was the start of the first one. We, they finally started having something tells me that here in America. In the make the, I don't think that would make the history books like as an event. Well, you know. Elvis went to a laundry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah this is the, that's just such a great question i love this yeah question. it's a great question that we're that not we don't know the answer to what kind of oh, hey. poor peggy what kind of, <laughs> yeah so peggy's done my brain is i'm telling you just thinking of laundry related event I well mean, what could be a laundry related, related event i never sleep in thursday morning just uh, uh, always comes at you mean Friday, Friday 6.30. You say, no, um, on Thursday morning, I never sleep in. So by trivia time, I've freaking been up. My bad. You're supposed yeah. to sleep in on Thursdays. I slept until 10 this morning. Oh, I, I wish. Know. It's retirement. This is what retirement's all about. So I think I'm gonna go I to bed now because I don't think I'm used to oh, Kelly, how oh, could you Kelly. Sleep not knowing the answer to number 10? Sorry. Uh, you'll all I'll talk we'll tell you later okay watch if the video people, susan One, you know me if the bonus category is something that you're like kelly needs to be part of this category facebook message me but okay. other than that i need sleep all right if it's hamilton you're in exactly sleep okay. good kelly right. bye kelly <laughs> have a good night kelly thank you good night kelly what's the significant laundry you need to go to bed too what could it be let me look and see if everybody's coming back now well, the team, we just looked it up, is back. Actually, the Delta variant is back, so we should probably go. I'm going to go back. Let's just, say, let's just say laundry strike, because Susan's mentioned that, and that's like an That worked for me. All right. Yeah. It's just an answer. An no, that's space flight. I just it's, it's the same the thing. On the Einstein X-ray Observatory, and I was quite pleased about doing so. What, what? The Einstein X-ray Observatory, which is yeah. not his technical name, but was he re yeah, it it the for it. Actually, that is, its, that is its name. Well, I thought its name was the Einstein Observatory, not... Yeah. But, yeah, but you can't really specify what exactly you're talking <laughs> about to most people. Yeah. <clears throat> He's not well, even I, part of GSOW, and he wrote a Wikipedia page. The the Einstein Observatory was uh, a very new scientific instrument when I was in graduate school, and uh, I did my PhD thesis on X-ray astronomy. So Ooh. lots of people in uh, in my lab were doing stuff with uh, with Einstein. Leonard, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it was fun stuff. I'm sure that guy got some things right. Uh, a couple. Yeah. He got Perhaps you could help uh, hunt down some um, results, some scientific achievements that the observatory led to, because one of the things I found when I was looking at the page was there was nothing at all. So how, how would the, a lay person be able to tell how this was important? They would just look at it and see, oh, it's just a satellite. Who cares? Right. I will uh, look some stuff up. I'll send it to your mom and she'll send it to you. <laughs> Actually, are we are we friends? Aaron. I don't know. I, I don't know either. I rarely check Facebook. Yeah, so that's why I probably wouldn't bother. Yeah, so I'll send it through. You can you can talk to him on Messenger. That's what he he uses Messenger a lot. Okay. So, all right. Some good questions there, Mike. That really had us puzzled. I did these all in one sort of sleep deprivation frenzy. So. We tried very hard to see if there was a pattern in the answers too. No pattern. No, no Don Henley. No, no Don we Henley. Tried. Dirty laundry left. I, I never knew I would be thinking so hard about answers to laundry questions. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So where's my, where's the list of questions? Okay. Number one, in the Air Force, a laundry bag is jargon for 
a parachute. Yes. Oh, hey, good I team. I guess I heard some people uh, guess again. No, no, no. Well, oh, no. I was sure it was a duffel bag. Maybe there's a little no, parachute in the duffel, duffel, duffel bag. bag. <laughs> okay, who founded the Four Square Laundry Service in West Belfast, Northern Ireland in the early 70s? <laughs> and I heard a lot of discussion about uh, the IRA, but it was actually the enemies of the IRA, the British Army. They would test clothing for bomb residue. Would you accept they would James Bond? Track down the IRA. <laughs> James so, Bond. And so, he, the answer, so the answer is British Army? The British Army, British the British Army spies. intelligence. Yeah. What if you had the exact person's name? If you... What did you have as the exact person's name? Sarah Wark, who Isabel's mom lives in that town. Yes, I believe that is the, I believe that is the person who started uh, it. No. Although, although, get two although, that one. I just was Googling it this afternoon. And I was like, Wark all, is the name of the In all fairness, so. we had her slash IRA, I think. <laughs> well, I Richard, the, IRA, Richard, the, the IRA was, but Wark that's was the lady who was the, the somehow associated with that, I believe. Oh, that's amazing. If you have just work. If you have work in the IRA, then I'll leave it to your discretion to, because she was, I don't believe work was in the IRA. She was part of the Well, yeah. that's what they said. <laughs> that's so what they don't want you to know. I'll ask me, Dobie, got the world's largest open air laundry. Judging by the, a lot of people, I think, Yes, someplace in India. It's Mumbai, India. Yeah. Oh, well, that's right. That was our first. I don't know if we changed it or not. That yeah, close. First we came up with. Did we change it? The first I electric clothes washer. The same it? name as a popular superhero. He's a, one of the, one of the Marvel. He's one of the Avengers. He's working on his Flash. new movie, Love and Thunder. That would be Thor. Oh. 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 See, I thought it was. I thought it was Flash or Wonder Woman. Yeah, that's kind of Black Panther washing machine. Wonder Woman. That's what they use to wash my costume from that movie. Then Doctor Strange <laughs> dryer. Sorry, <laughs> yeah. sorry, Carl. It's yeah. not copyrighted. Uh, How do astronauts on the international station, international space station, do their laundry? They do not. It's too <laughs> water floats around. They just burn it or trash it. But basically, any version of that is acceptable. They don't go on space walks and hang it on a line. Yeah, we were yeah. thinking maybe they hang it on a line or about. UFOs. And although can buy. using heated iron to flatten clothes was invented in China years and years ago. Henry Seeley patented the electric iron. Oh, hey, oh. Isabella. Hey, Richard. Hi, hey, Paula. You're welcome. Hey. Dire sheets. The, uh, there's a lot of talk about the difference in time. I think that's just because by the time you sell it to Procter and Gamble or who, whoever, it bounce, bounce yes. dryer sheets. Uh. Is the first. It just takes them a while to do marketing and testing. I've never been so happy in my life to. To know that we put. <laughs> mm. That's pretty sad. So no name the, sad. <laughs> the, the length of time the between popular dryer sheet right now. The length was bought, you know. The length of time between. <laughs> the length of time between patenting something and having the patent be granted can be a long time, and for something as obvious as a dryer sheet, you're going to want to wait for the patent before it comes out. Yeah. So, what unexpected liquid would ancient Romans use? Did they use urine to do yeah. their? According to nobody expects urine. Sites. That really pisses me Except off. Everybody here, <laughs> Carl. Carl. So, Carl. Better to be during, pissed off uh, than pissed on. <laughs> during the Revolutionary War, Benjamin Talmadge would signal. Uh, oh, did we miss like one if by land, two if by sea. No, it was if my underwear is out on the laundry line, then. Then by sea or something. It's, so it was used to send intelligence for George Washington in the Re Revolutionary War. Oh, okay. Okay. I just I just Maybe. read the book about this a, a few years ago, and I'm and I just saw it in my uh, Audible again. It's called um, George Washington's The Mysterious Six or something like that. His SP uh, I'm darn it now. Anything. Yeah. Anything having to do with sending signals in the Revolutionary War is acceptable. So you're saying he was yes. doing his washing undercover. Hmm. Oh, Washington undercover. Washington, Washington. He was washing a ton of stuff there. <laughs> okay, once again, this one, I think I don't think anyone probably got this one because, in retrospect, I think this is too difficult. 
But basically, the first laundrette in the UK was open. Oh, yeah. laundrette. Yeah. That one. We got it's, that. It's a laundrette, right? Yeah, like a, a, a self-serve laundromat kind of a thing. We got that, that. That really hot, had us. I'm disappointed that it wasn't more clever. We thought it was like a, I was a fire like or something. Event. Um, and the Jonathan Richmond song is Let Her Go Into the dar Darkness, where he sings about a woman who's going back to her old boyfriend. And it's a very great song, but he sings laundromat, 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 because he's bemoaning the fact that she's, for some reason, going to go to a laundromat. <laughs> I'll put the answers here, along with the link to the Jonathan Richmond song. It, if it you is, want. because Mike, now he has to be to clear. To for number what six, about dirty laundry, electric buddy? iron? Electric iron. It, 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 it doesn't buy electric iron. Although what we call an iron is an electric iron. So again, use your best judgment. To, like I said, the Chinese used iron to flatten clothes hundreds of years before that. But yeah, yeah. This oh, really well, well, lots of, lots of societies iron. used flattened irons heated yeah. on coals or something else before they were plugged in. Yeah. Like, Hey, when, I, when I was a kid, my mother actually had one and she put it on the stove and it got hot. Yeah, my grandmother had one too. She had, actually had a wood burning stove in her kitchen. Mm -hmm. And then my mother also had a, a iron that was you could put on the stove. The book that I was talking yeah. about is George Washington's Secret Six. It was all about oh. the, the spies. The that he ring. Yeah. George who? <laughs> yeah. Made it all the way around. The end of I round know who said that, Washington. Wilma. So that Who was the, the round uh, three in the poll. Yeah, the bonus <laughs> one <the> pool. Part <laughs> of that, the bonus part of the category is we got Susan to say Washington. So yeah, yeah. That. I know. <laughs> and on and on video. All right, so this was really good. Let's see um, the stars. Jordan's of, going to bed now. Good night, Jordan. Bye, Jordan. Bye. Bye. Thanks for having us. Bye. Nice meeting some of you. Take care, Jordan. <laughs> oh. we'll, we'll get you. Thank you for putting up with our potty oh, mouse. I said some of you because I already I know. know some of the people. Yeah. yeah. And the rest of us are just chopped liver. Day. We know. I've, I've known Jordan for Jordan's entire you life. You don't know us. You don't know us. <laughs> what did you say, Carl? I said I've known Jordan Jordan's entire life. Oh, look at Isabella's dad just said hello, and then he popped out of the scene again real quick where he can't. He wait. was saying good night to me. Oh yeah, he said good night to us. He waved to us. He says good night. Good night. Just keep thinking that. Good night. <laughs> okay, now the scores are really kind of close, so I'm really curious about. I think our team, did, the team I was on, did really well, and boy, they needed it. Um, I don't know why you say that. Well, because I'm looking at the score. So is Janine high or is that a meteor shower? We it's never did the answer shower. to that one. <laughs> Seven. Oh. Really? I had six for us. Oh, we, oh, well, only ones we missed were, let me look up the Let's thing. argue about it. We said uh, we uh, Henry Seely. We mixed six, four, and three. Yeah, but we said we have we went back and forth between bounce and cling free, and I thought we finally settled on cling free. Which one? Wait a minute. Which nope, one are you we saying? We settled on bounce. We settled, settled on bounce. bounce. Okay. Okay. Oh. okay. okay. All so right. Seven. Round. We got that out. We just looked it up. Uh, five. Ooh. Simone Biles. I know. Mom's going to check you out in a minute. Oh man. What, what was that one? Six. Six. Okay, Delta. Four. Oh, oh the dirty bird chicken joint. Six. <laughs> oh, that didn't make a little difference here. Okay. Everybody's all quiet. It made a big difference because it brought, it brought, um, we just looked it up, brought down. Thanks, Mike. And then oh, wow. Delta brought we way were in first place. Yay, we didn't that move. Yay. Oh, so good. Ooh. And the Dirty Bird Chicken Joint was way behind. They're still behind, but not as much. I mean, they could pick it up on this bonus 22, 22. Oh, we're point. ahead. Mm. So the group who's ahead right now is Janine Heyer is at a meteor shower, and it's been the Delta people the whole time until this last round. Any chance that the bonus round Ben's favorite things? Then I <laughs> no, because you right. have to have ten favorite things, and otherwise you're just gonna be like, no, I like this, no, no, I like this. 
Oh. Well, we will find out in a second because it is going yeah. to be. Susan, you should make the font larger again. It's gone back to being very small. Oh, okay. Rob. I'm going to sleep. Good night. All right. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh, Aaron. Oh, you're going to miss mine. Oh, that's a good one. Hi. It's the first time oh. that Rob's ever done it. I don't know if it's something Aaron would know. Uh, sorry. They miss Aaron's I'll, in history. I'll, I'll, wait to, I'll, wait to hear the, I'll wait to hear what the category is. Okay. Baseball team. Okay. Aaron trivia, please. Has to do with uh, all Marvel, but, you know, too bad. Oh. Has to do with what? No, I'm only joking. Okay. <laughs> I said the, the Marvel universe. Don't joke about MCU. Yeah, <laughs> Don't I joke agree. About it. Do not it's cruel. Do. You already had a Marvel related question in. I, I did. You're correct. Okay, your co host is <laughs> oh. there. Aaron's holding on. <laughs> No, so am I, am I up? Is the bonus up? Yes. Yeah, we're waiting. Okay, so uh, as may be obvious from my backdrop, which is not something from a Bond film, that is actually a hey. space hardware. That is the uh, Apollo uh, command module extracting the lunar module from the upper stage. And I will point out that last week was the 52nd anniversary of the Apollo 11 lunar landing. Hmm. Uh, nine times the Apollo missions flown by America included a bug-shaped lunar module along with a candy-shaped command module. For every mission, Apollo 9 to 17, the lunar module was given a name, which sometimes was correlated with the name of the command module. Mostly the names reflected the seriousness of the lunar endeavor, but at times they were surprisingly odd, even comical. So I'm going to paste that first part here. So in all, there were 18 unique names, some of which were reused in other NASA programs. I am going to give you a list of 36 to pick from, half are true and half are false. So all you have to do is discover the correct half. Don't worry about pairing the names for each mission as most won't have a ghost of a chance at meeting that more daunting challenge. <clears throat> Scoring is as follows. Provide a list of what you think are all 18 correct names. Score plus one for each correct answer and minus one for each wrong. Total the results and take up to 10 points. Kind of a novel scoring. It's a little bit of strategy there, I think. So what are you calling this bonus category? Because I'm not sure I understand what the category name would be. This is the uh, category would be the Apollo vehicle names. Do you have to provide 18 possible names or can you just choose the top 10? And If you feel comfortable, you don't have to. Right, you can get 10. If you think you know all and you want to be safe, yeah, and you know, need. just do 10, right? But the limbs, aren't they? Hang on. Sorry. Oh, oh, so just limbs? You're going to give us the list, right? I'm oh. going to give you the list now, yes. No, so it's you not can... the limbs. There were 18 names because there were nine okay, missions right. that were in pairs. All right, so there were 18 unique names. Oh, okay. Okay. What I'm saying is, can you guess only 10 if you want to take the chance? Absolutely. I'm not going to, you know, yep. Because then you're not getting the minuses, but you yep. also... Obviously, that's why there's some strategy here. You could try it that way. So this is the list of the 36 possible answers. Half are true and half are not. Like, it's like the SATs. <laughs> that's right. Minus points on the SATs. Reduction. If you leave it blank, there's no penalty. The category is Rob's Nestle. <laughs> Whoever just talked, I could not hear. <laughs> Good. Or, or, choose, or choose not to hear. The category is great. Good night. Oh, Good night. Yeah. Good, Good night, Good night Aaron. But I'm Good night. Aaron says I'm not. Hi, okay. Aaron. Rob, Good I'm night. not sure I understood the oh, second question. You don't want us to just pick 10 of them? That's correct. You, you can pick as many as you want, right? And, and the scoring is for each one. I'm going to read you the pairs and for the names, 18 names. For each one you get in your list, you get one point. And for each one you put that's wrong, you take a point away. So we can right. put more than 10. That's correct. Yeah. Right. Okay. But, you know, there's since we're only allowing 10 points, points, you know, 10 or more is still 10. So, so if we put in the mall, we'd cancel the score out. That's correct. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So we have to pair one of those words with another one of those words? No pairing. No, no pairing. I'm, I, oh, okay. I, said, I said you don't have to pair it because, uh, as I put it, uh, that would, you know, be. Oh, even so more you're going to give the answers in pairs. If we get one of those, we get that one point. No, if nope. I give you a pair and you have Either both of the names, of the that's two points. Point. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Point, up to two right. points. Right. Why is it so? Okay. 
I don't I know. You. I'm lost. Maximum of ten. I, I, I gave up a few. I don't. I don't you can forget it. the pairing. Forget the pairing. This is yeah, eighteen vehicles. Eighteen vehicle names. They happen I to be in Paris. I'm about to pass out. Is there a video to explain this? <laughs> Just take the correct names out of the list. That's correct. Where's the list? In the chat. Is it in the chat? Yes, it is. Yeah. Oh, I see it now. Thank you. I'm going to go to room five. Is there anybody I've got to push in a room then before I go? I guess not. Just me. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching our video. I just forgot what I was trying to do. I'm going to the Delta Varus strain notation. Um, yeah, whatever. You never know any of these bonus categories. Someday somebody's going to write something I can actually help with. Someday. What was the last one you said, Caspian, after spider? Um, Odyssey. 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 Thank you. So that's six I know for certainty are correct. Nice. So should you stop with six and not add the other four? Because no. if you add four that are wrong, then they'll take four points away? No. You can crep it. I well, crep Perseverance it. is on Mars right now, isn't it? Well, some of these can be reused. Oh, I've yeah. Heard, I've heard Pathfinder, Perseverance. Um, you can crep it. Like Columbia is reused because it's used as a, the shuttle. Is one Charlie Brown? Charlie Brown, yeah, I think. Yeah, I think Charlie Brown and Snoopy were. And I think Intrepid. Correct. Both for Charlie Brown and Snoopy? I was guessing. Yeah. Okay. I think that was one of the later ones. I will sit here and just enjoy the conversation. Uh, you, which one is Intrepid? <laughs> Watching Faith or Romero in my house oh, feels so it's strange. Where you getting Intrepid? It's really weird because I was in your house. And you then I got kicked when we went back to the main yeah. room. I suddenly was in right. Washington State at Picture Lake. Is that right? <laughs> I don't know why. I, I it happens changed. to me all the time. <laughs> I don't know here. It didn't. I didn't do it though. It just you zoomed it up. And then Romero thinks Intrepid is one. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Uh -huh. So how many of these are actually on the list that are correct? Eighteen. Mm -hmm. I've heard of Kitty Hawk, but that's huge. Kitty Hawk is where we first went into flight. Then I mean, you don't think they'd name one after Kitty Hawk? But anyway, they might. Anyway. What was the I've last one we just said? I've forgotten already. Um, Intrepid, and Intrepid, I think yes. Endeavor. Yes. Yeah, that sounds right. I'm gonna read the question because I don't I don't even know. We understand. are first in flight. Ohio needs to get over it. Um, I'm confident some of these are definitely wrong. Betelgeuse, Friendship Three, uh -huh. Galileo, Homer, Kepler. Some of these sound like America. craters. Yeah, all of them are wrong. Antares or Antares. Yankee Clipper. That's stupid. Yankee Clipper. Sojourner, I'm pretty sure wasn't an Apollo name. Pathfinder isn't. Pathfinder. So these are missions, Apollo missions? No, these are the names of either the command modules or service modules, not service modules, lunar modules. Yeah on Apollo missions that had both. So when we landed on the moon for the first time, the module down on the moon was Eagle, and the one I believe that was up with Michael Collins was Columbia, I think. Yes. Mm -hmm. What I really want to know is why is it sun? Why is the sun coming in my window over there, Faith? <laughs> I am, you know, and it's, it's, it's mine too. Friday over here. Over I don't know why the sun's coming in either. It's Friday. I mean, in my house, look at it's even on my face. It's it's dark in mine. Look at that. You can tan. Hours. I mean, Caspian, I Caspian, it's dark at Caspian's house. The people who are on the East Coast or farther away from us. I don't know, Kitty. Yeah, I don't know why it's so dark. My lights are on. 
yeah, you're really dark today. Because Jamie's not here and, and everybody's sad. Yeah, but it, it wasn't like this earlier. I think we're fine. We have one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ten. Yeah, we have she ten. has to work tomorrow. Jamie has to work tomorrow. Yes. I want her to come over and 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 hang out and look at my tomatoes. So if we get more to them so that they. Oh, I want to hear from Karen if the tomatoes are doing well. No. We can only get a maximum of ten points. You can get. Well, max he, he said to add the score, but if you. Yeah, we could only get up to ten. So if we've I think got it's safe. That we're it's confident just, with. Yeah, I just stick with that. Stick there. Yeah, I agree. So, yeah. You sound like my mother, Susan, because every time we go, she wants to talk about her tomatoes. <laughs> well, Jamie loves tomatoes, and 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 Karen came to my party, and Deborah gave her a tomato, and so when she went out of town for a week, she brought it to my house, and I repotted it. <laughs> <laughs> and and fixed it up and made it pretty and then gave her another tomato so he did have a friend. Tommy. What are you guys doing in my office there? There's a cat. There's a cat uh -huh. that's your belly rub. She's, she's sleeping underneath his feet. That's weird. She's just disappearing. Oh, she's touching your feeties. Oh. <laughs> she got your toes. Yeah. Okay, so we get it. Got ten. This, did this group kick um, uh, Leonard's ass on this? Do you think? What do you think? What do we have? Eagle, Columbia, Aquarius, Gumdrop, Spider, Odyssey, Charlie Brown, Snoopy, Intrepid, and Endeavor. Caspian, you're on next week too. Yeah, no, I just finished my uh, category. I started building a backup. Ooh. I probably should just go buy Max in the store tomorrow. But I won't be here next week. Oh, where are you going? Oh, it's book week? No, it's uh mountain, going to the mountains. I was supposed to be in oh, Boston. Right. Yeah, I was supposed to be in Boston. And then, you know, because of US, the US, the Canadian border, well, the Canadian government has not lifted the tribal advisory. So we didn't want to break the rules. When, do, when are you going, Adrian, to uh, on this cruise in October? Uh, the cruise got canceled. You're kidding. No, celebrity canceled it. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah. Because that was the reason why we picked the early October to go to Vegas. Yeah. Because you were going but to we still we we still may go to Italy. And when's that? Uh, so we're going to leave because we had already booked our flights, right? We booked our hotels. We booked our flights. We had everything booked. So I think we're leaving October 13th. Uh, but we may not be because unless Canada opens the travel advisory, then I'm not going to be able to go to Vegas anyway. <laughs> so it's... Yeah, I have the 13th written down here for your cruise. Yeah, yeah. So we were going to go to Italy for a week first and then hop on the cruise ship. Oh, come back. So you're still thinking you might go to Italy. Italy. <laughs> yeah, in yeah, our dreams. I, wanna, in I, our really, dreams. <laughs> I really want to go to Vegas, but the, I, the more I'm thinking about it, the more I'm not so sure this is a good idea. Yeah, well, you know, like this time next year, we're I think supposed to be in like Estonia or something. Yeah, Estonia. Yeah, this is the, we're going to be on our Baltic cruise. <laughs> yes, we're supposed to be on a Baltic cruise. That's right. Yep. Oh, this time next year. <laughs> this time next year, yeah. we're supposed to be on the ship getting off. I think this weekend. <laughs> well, you know what, you guys, this should have been taken care of by now. Yep. Mm -hmm. We've got oh, a vaccine no. six months, right? We're supposed to, uh, I, we booked a cruise two and a half years ago when it first came on the market because it was so cheap mm -hmm. from Tokyo to Vancouver. And we're starting to think, and that was for next April. We're starting to think it's not even going to happen. I mean, Tokyo is just not doing well. Japan yeah. is not doing well at all. So can I they get the rack together in six Olympics. months? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I watched the opening ceremonies and then just decided, you know, let's not. I, I didn't even watch open cer some ceremonies. Yeah, Caspian had a mm -hmm. YouTube TV and then it was going to allow us to watch the Olympics. And I said, oh, that's cool. And then I thought, oh, I don't know if I'm really going to watch it. I'll just watch the things on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And so it got canceled. So I'm glad kind of because otherwise I'd just be glued to the TV. But I've we never really watched the Olympics before. And now it's like, 
I'm, I'm watching little bits, little clips, but like I said on YouTube, they'll just keep putting up these things saying, so-and-so just won the gold. And then it shows you the clip and you can watch it from the beginning Mm-hmm. you know and see it but it's yeah it, you already know the, the answer Risa, yeah result but it's well, still exciting because i would know what happened on the tour de france stages <laughs> like i know who would want win if you still it watch fun, it was fun watching like the mountain stages where you're seeing these guys with like the most amazing quadriceps yeah that's for me <laughs> yeah it was just like uh, i'm I, finding I didn't follow anything so i'm just really disappointed i did watch you know, it was very, 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 very good is I think it's the Washington Post did a, mm-hmm. um, a video of the gymnast, the one who's just winning gold. Her name is um, Sims. What is her name? I know who you mean. Yeah. The second to Simone Biles, the one that's yeah. actually mm-hmm. now uh, doing her thing. They did it in slow motion and they could show mm-hmm. like they did it as a drawing so you could see her routine. Oh. I kept going backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards and watching it because they go so fast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then they were explaining that she has to get the momentum so she could do this. And then I, I and then they did the balance beam. They showed how she gets on the balance beam with one foot. And then the other foot is out straight and she twirls herself around. They said, that is so painful. That is so difficult to do. And, mm-hmm. you know, if I saw her just doing it, I wouldn't have known it was, I would have been yeah. like, oh, that's cool. Mm-hmm. Little helicopter with her foot. But they were explaining that other, other people, gymnasts don't do that trick because it's so much pressure on your foot and you're mm-hmm. turning yourself. So it was a really good article that loved it. Absolutely loved it. And I saw one of the uh, dressage events where they were playing like eight, like eighties, you know, techno music, and it really looked like the the person and the horse were actually like dancing. Oh, it's amazing, <laughs> isn't it? Okay, you didn't see anything. I I get on Reddit. Okay. Okay, TikTok. TikTok. Yeah. He watches a whole minute on TikTok. That's why I fuck up your YouTube algorithm. Oh, I know. Mark will listen to my YouTube and he'll be looking at it. I'm like, oh, great. Now look at him. He's like, you have infiltrated with trash things. And it's it's sad too, because if you just, just out of curiosity or whatever, you just say, I'm going to look at that puppy video. You got to go incognito or something. Otherwise, everything you get is puppy videos. <laughs> Annoying. He, we, he gets lots of Gordon Ramsay. Um, there's one woman I like to watch um, called Ann Reardon, where she does a- Oh, she's so good. Yes. Like, <laughs> I, I love, love it when she stuff. does the debunking videos, like, does yes. this really, like, just don't watch all this crap because they just show you really cool stuff to get you to watch. Yeah, and, and it, it doesn't work. It. it doesn't really it doesn't work. work. Yeah. Like, don't, don't do this trick because your microwave will explode and you'll get third degree burns if you try to poach an egg in a microwave. <laughs> oh, like, what are we missing from here? Why will this, why, how can you not make marshmallows? I think Caspian's yeah, going to sleep. Yeah, I'm going to put, put my mouse in his nose, but of course you can't. You guys can't. Yeah, I wonder if she has a Wikipedia page. She should. I'm putting a mouse on right on Caspian's nose. Oh, wait, let's put your mouth open your mouth. Tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> I'm getting tired. I'm getting weird. Right here, right here, right here. Right here. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Laugh, Cass. <laughs> Come here, I'm tickling you. This is being recorded, Susan. Oh, that's right. Yeah, but they can't see. They can't see the mouse. They can't see the mouse. They can't see the mouth. <laughs> and that makes it totally normal. <laughs> and that's what she kept repeating endlessly as they dragged her away in the straight jacket. To the funny farm where life is beautiful and gay. And they can't see the mouse. That. They can't see the mouse. <laughs> Adrian, she does have a YouTube. Um, she does have a Wikipedia page. Wikipedia page? Oh, that's good. How to cook can't that. Yeah. Can you see the mouse? Can you see it? I can't see it. Can if she it. didn't, it might be my next job. <laughs> she personally does not have her own page, though. I oh, interesting. Adrian, you've got other things to do. Stop that. Yeah. So well, she's, I, I'm almost finished my skeptic. She's the food skeptic. She's a skeptic. Yeah. Okay, if you can. Okay, then that's. Fine. Oh, she is totally. She de- to- debunks. That's what her, mm-hmm. gained her her fame, basically, was debunking YouTube videos that don't work. Like with the blossom and five minute yeah. crafts and showing yeah. that you can't. I think I saw something about her in some article somewhere. She's she very good. Tests, she also tests recipes that she finds. Yes. So they, the most recent one is um, marshmallow root. 
like they were well, testing. You guys have recipes. the time to look at this stuff. I'm retired. I don't have any. I can barely keep up with like five podcasts I'm listening to. I found her when I couldn't get off the couch with my migraines. Sorry, guys. So you guys finished? The other teams are back. Yes. Oh, well, yes. Oh, we're just having we fun because we okay. were done a long, long time ago. ago. Okay. I'll make sure. Good job, guys. I did not help at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you, Caspi. I think COVID isn't real. <laughs> oh, it's so infuriating. Oh, yes. <sighs> Sorry. So I had opened the okay. Book. Everybody was back. Okay, so we still have so to go back. to work tomorrow, and I'm afraid now. <laughs> We're we were done, but we did not get the, the minute warning. No, we didn't either. Yeah. Can I say something real quick? Oh, we got a minute warning. Yeah. It just five seconds, though. John, yeah, we got a minute warning, but it lasted five seconds. John, finish your thought, please. Okay, so my, it's just me and you. No, you're good. Gail, you took off that last one? Just I took right? off that last one. Okay. Is John still there? Did he go? John just disappeared. I think you pushed the wrong button. Oh dear. He'll come back in a second. I don't know. I just walked in the room. I don't know what. Yeah, his microphone's not very sensitive. That's why it's a little hard to hear. So we have ten. Has someone checked with him that he knows that there's a Zoom internal setting for boosting the volume? No. But he can work. We we can mention it to him when he comes back. Yeah, put the little arrow by the microphone. Or it's possible that he's having hardware issues. Or, or yeah, but at least he should check that. That's it. Okay, so are we ready or am I waiting? What's going on? Ready for answers? Right, Is everybody back? No. No. Except for John, who disappeared. Yeah, I'm typing to him if he asked. I'm asking if he pushed the wrong button. Okay, I'll, uh, uh, I'll take a minute. I'm actually going to go feed my screaming cat. <laughs> Best kind. So next oh, week, I, I have um, Caspian. Oh shit, I didn't feed my cat. Robin, <laughs> throw her a chicken. Um, Kyle, oh. Isabella, and Gail doing bonus. If anyone is in driving distance of Glen Cove, New York, tomorrow night, seven o'clock, free concert by Billy Joel's old band. Without Billy Joel. Without Billy Joel. I'm in California. It's about washing. I should start driving now. You no, know, Billy Joel is lucky because he has not had to go a single day of his life not having a laundrette available. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so is uh, John back? No, he's, he's, I, I said, did you push the wrong button? He says, I think I, so. If, if he was in London. He's, he's never had a single trivia night without his name being mentioned either. Oh, him and... No, only, only since I did the category. No, you've always oh, talked about true. pretty early on. You mentioned Billy Joel long before you started. Oh, yeah. But but I only did one category. Yeah. Yeah. That's like I did ten. All all did one. Time. He just that's being reported. What is it? That, Delta variant as yeah. pages as chicken pox as CDC internal report. You know how yeah, hard how easy it was to get chicken pox. That is now appearing in the, the Australian media. So there you go. Yeah. I can't read it because it's too little. But I just wrote it. To, read it to you. I know, but I Delta didn't. variant is Delta variant. This is just yeah. the unvaccinated, though, right? Well, yeah. No. 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 It's still very no. contagious. It you is, can still. No, it is not just on the unvaccinated. Yeah. And what yeah. is? Do we know yeah. the statistic for vaccinated people? So it, no. In either, in, so the, the 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 best guess, and that's all it can be at this point, is that the vaccines protect us as much against the Delta variant as they do against other, the others. So if you uh, have a, a, a scale to determine a likelihood of, of getting uh, infected, the, uh, the vaccine's gonna help you just as much as it did against the other, but because the Delta variant is, say, three times more uh, in contagious, then you're three times more likely to get it than mm -hmm. the other ones, if you, uh, whether you're vaccinated or not. All right. 
And John was uh, just saying something about his uh, locally and in Texas about a vaccine when he got cut off. Okay, I walked in. I don't know what was going on. So what was that, John? Okay. So not not in Texas, in Indiana. Um, we're starting to get, you guys were talking about the Delta variants earlier, right? Yeah. Right. We're starting to actually see some um, uh, it starts with G, gamma, gamma. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we're starting to see some of that in my community, and it's hitting the people that are vaccinated and unvaccinated. So, no matter everybody here, if you're vaccinated or not, this shit is hitting all of us. Yeah, Indiana started and gamma making, now. and it's making people sick. Yes, yes, it is. Well, okay. but is it true that at least with Delta, it you get sick, but you don't get hospitalized or die? It seems like the hospitalizations and deaths. We don't have an enough data. I saw an interview with Fauci um, on um, Chris Hayes' program, and you probably can find it on the internet if you want to, because okay. I think they, they post them afterwards, because it was just a few days ago. And he asked a question that finally explains this confusion to me. What he said was that when you get a, a, a vaccine, you've got immunity and protection. The problem is that the Delta is extremely contagious. So you will get, 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 get the germ, get. but the problem the is problem that the immune system, system works better works on the lungs. On the than Deborah, can you mute yourself? Yeah, so what he said was that people who are vaccinated are possibly going to get some infection, but probably it will not be serious because the lung, which is the big issue, yes. will be protected. But if you've been infected and you have a lot of that germ and your body can't handle it, you can spread it, which is the that big is issue here. Yeah. yeah. So they also said that if you get it, you're less likely to have a lot of problems from it, but if yep. you have pre-existing conditions, you know, yep. Yep. then then it's then it, getting sick is 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 a problem. And Susan, but, it, but Susan, it's not just getting sick. We have uh, young children yep. in the family who are not vaccinated, yep. and you could be an asymptomatic <laughs> carrier to those young children. And that's what he was, exactly what he was exposure. talking about. He was saying that that's the reason that because yep. they can't yet be vaccinated. And you could have the disease be asymptomatic, but be carrying it because the, your body can't handle the, the overflow. I've got an idea, Susan, if yeah. everyone would like to indulge, if everyone could use the face mask filter or put a face mask on for a photograph, we'll send out a message. Give me a second, give me a second. Uh, I can only, see. Not I don't a, not have to do it. I, do do I, I can't have use them. the, I can't do the filter. Well, grab or, or, or go grab a real one. If well, you've got a real one, grab it. Eyes a long ways from. <laughs> I would just put it. Yeah, mine are all in my car. I don't use mine at home, so I have no. Just I put have the, no mask. Um, just put it. Do you have a? Let me go like this here. Sure. Where is this filter? It's under video settings. Yeah, yeah but I don't have it. There's oh, it video help. filter right under choose virtual background. All right, there's about a hundred there. Like I don't see it's anything. It's the one on that yet. looks like a yeah, mask. Yeah, Janine, that works. One that looks like a mask. I have an. This is a filter. See that. I have an actual Doctor Who filter. Or mask. Oh, that's I'm not, cool. I'm, I'm not seeing it. Are you taking a picture, Richard? Am I taking yep. it? Uh, well, I can take a me, picture. Rob, oh, it is fourth row. I got it. Well, actually, it keeps disappearing. I don't know why. Oh. Hmm. Rob, where's your filter? It, it just disappeared. <laughs> it's like this going up and close. Okay. Oh. Hey, oh, stand yes. back, Rob. You don't have your mask on. Oh. Rob, put your mask. There, there we go. There we go. We're guessing. Okay. In three. Ah, no, two. Put a mask on. Sorry. <laughs> three, two, one. Great. Wait, I wasn't smiling. Oh. <laughs> we could see I it in my your eyes, out. Susan. We could see it in your eyes. I tell you what, for those who weren't not wearing, what the hell? Kyle, what was that? <laughs> it was a monster. 
For those not wearing a mask, I'll digitally put a mask on you, and then I'll say, oh. "Thank you." I, I had a I had a napkin. Wilma, do you uh, want to do that? Are we are we ready for answers? No, now you tell me that. Yeah, let's let's get it. Very ready. ready. Yes. Interesting. So first, I want to point out that I I very carefully read all the stuff I, yeah, I wrote. Do, that's perfect. I carefully wrote all the stuff I read to you and put it in the chat. And there are eight clues in there, including three direct names that were in the question. Oh my. Yeah. So um, I don't know if no one saw that, but. We're not uh, that tricky. All right. So first mission with a pair of a command module and lunar module was Apollo 9 and it was Gumdrop and Spider. That's two points. Apollo 10. I don't know how they named these, by the way. And I'm quite amazed that NASA allowed this. But Charlie Adrian, Brown and Snoopy. Will you quit that? All right. <laughs> we got Snoopy and points. Charlie Brown. Apollo 11, you guys had to get this, the historic one for sure. Yep. Columbia and Eagle. And I'm putting, I'm putting the asterisks on the one that was later reused in the shuttle program. Because I mentioned that. Next one, Apollo 12. I didn't remember either of these. Yankee Clipper and Intrepid. Yankee Clipper? Yep. This is another one that, of course, people gave up watching with Apollo 12, but then 13 and drew everyone's interest because it was almost a disaster. So this was a big time in the news. You should have remembered Odyssey and Aquarius. Nope. Aquarius was the lifeboat. Apollo 14. Kitty Hawk and Antares. Uh... Apollo 15. Again, everyone had pretty much stopped watching. Endeavor and Falcon. Apollo 16. Casper and Orion. I have no idea about the Casper. I don't remember I, any of these. I mentioned something I mean, about you won't have a ghost of a chance. So that was my clue for that one. <laughs> and finally, um, oh. the last mission to the moon, America and Challenger. And Challenger died right then, right? So do, no. the, do the math. No. It's another Odyssey. Challenger. Challenger 12 died. That's oh, special. so there's been that many Challengers? Yes. What? What are you talking? The name Challenger has been used that many times? Well, twice. Twice, twice. Twice at least. Yeah. yeah. Well, then, yep. That was two right there. So you mean there was a third time? Yeah. What? Huh? Huh? No, that was only once there and once another time. I thought he had Challenger in here twice. No, no Columbia. Columbia. Columbia and Challenger. The list oh, is there, Susan. Oh, yeah, Columbia. OK, OK. Yeah, I see Columbia. Sorry, I thought I saw Challenger twice. OK, so uh, all the other all the other names, I, I they were either other NASA missions or space missions, including Mars things, um, or I just made yep. up names that sounded like they could be. So oh, all right, so, so, so do the math. One point for everyone right. If you got one wrong in, that, in your list, take a point off. And a maximum of 10 points. Maximum of 10. Four points. Sorry, team. Was this we don't have to use yeah. negative numbers, though, do we? <laughs> Most you can score a yeah, there minimum of zero, zero. I take it. That's a good question. I had to consider that. Can we do negative numbers? Six, uh, six minus no. four. Yeah, I should say the lowest score is a zero. Gail, six minus four is what I got. Yeah. That's no, two. Yes. No, I got oh, really? minus six. Six right, four wrong. No, we got seven right, four wrong. Seven right, four wrong. Seven right? Yeah. The ones so I, I have right were Falcon, Gunnar, Kitty, Hawk, and Spider. Which one's <laughs> So I think we have a score to three on that one. Ouch. Alan, that is you. That is definitely you. Just the high cheekbones, just do it. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, we're kids, aren't we? So, Robin, you think it was a three? I think it was a three. Okay. Yeah. I got. I, it. I, I don't know which one I. Well, I had. Oh well, wait a minute. Five. You know what? I think uh, uh, eagle. I I think I was counting eagle as a correct answer, and it's not a correct answer. Yes, yeah. it is. Eagle is the it most is famous landed. one, the yes, first man landed. vehicle to ever land eagle on has landed. Another, oh, celestial that body. Is. The eagle has landed. Oh, never mind. Oh, it's I, a thought it was a, I thought that was the hedgehog has landed. Oh, I'm not wearing my glasses. Oh. Rob, what was Rob, the I, I, 
Oh, I like the I dreamed of that looks good. I, I was I was just glad when I was watching this live that they had not used Charlie Brown and Snoopy and said Snoopy has landed. That would have been <laughs> atrocious for the I think night. Hedgehog, or it should be the um, Honey Badger. Should put the Red Baron with Snoopy. Honey Badger. Don't honey Badger. Honey 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 badger don't give up. Like, yeah, the Honey Badger don't give up. Nice Leonard. Yeah. yeah. So I actually I actually picture this. So so nine never left Earth orbit, but they were practicing with the two ships in Earth orbit. So um, you know, NASA NASA didn't um, really care what the names were. Then ten, they let them go to the moon, but not land. Okay, you can do Charlie Brown and Snoopy. But the one that counted, they had a name kind of officially, so they changed it to Columbia Eagle. 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 All right. Do we have our stories? What went with the eagle? Oh, I posted the answers. Yes, Apollo oh. ten was Charlie Brown and Snoopy. Oh, okay. So that was the right answer, not a wrong answer. Arr. We had one, two, five. Robin's tired. Yeah, there's been several people tired. Caspian's yawning. Oh my goodness. And I'm I'm in the best time zone. And they're in these. They're in this. Yeah, I was going to say it's twenty to two, two for here. me. Oh, good. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Canadian so we're going to do the scores differently. I'm going to yeah. show you the screen as we uh, get the scores in, and you can watch them add in. Oh, oh this, this is going to be exciting. No, no tension. Exciting. So let's do. Um, no, let's take. Uh, we just looked it up. Put the lowest score oh, first. Come then on. Okay, go the, go the dirty bird chicken joint. Yeah, just rip the band-aid off. Rip Three. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, that's Three. Well, well, these people, negative one. I guess we can't get negative numbers. So let's go with, we, we just that. You can in this. Mostly thanks to Leonard and John. We got 10. <gasps> oh, oh, we wow. actually got 12, but you know. Wow. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, that was winner, a winner, that was chicken an almost dinner. lost place. So let's go over no. here to Delta Variant, who's been in the lead the whole time until last round. Ten. Yes. Oh, oh. nice. Oh. And that was the team I was on. Thank you. Just, nice. just saying, I did nothing <laughs> except try to distract people. Um, and Simone Biles. Ten. Also ten. Fourteen out of. Oh. 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 No. Okay. Damn. Is Janine That's high? Crazy. This is the question I asked tonight. Is Janine yeah, high? we had a zero because we had five. Is that the bonus? Seriously? Oh, oh no. No, we didn't have four. <laughs> we had a zero. I won. Please don't right. beat us, Doug Not for, No, we, had, we have a three. Our we, we had three. three. We had seven and oh, four, I thought. Yeah. It's seven and four. Yeah. Okay. okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, wow. Wow. Seven Whoa. correct and four wrong. We don't know our space stuff very well. We don't do our math. So boy, let me tell you, if if that was a that was this is the kind of games I like is whenever it's somebody's in charge. No, oh, it's an incident. You know, oh, that's chicken doing. Because um Delta one was ahead for a very long time. And look who not came. a bad effort team. No and look who effort. won. Not Simone, a Simone Biles is already a There's not much oh, in it, won? you know. Yeah, you won. Oh. <laughs> I believe 30. I was like, I won. Than what? We won? Any of the other numbers. You know it. <laughs> Simone Biles won after having a latecomer added to their team. Mm. That's right. oh. Who is Susan, that? I sent you the screenshot, Susan. All Listen, right. a win is a win. All right, so this has been it for the score for tonight. I will be posting some of the, the trivia um, uh, questions on Facebook. And that was fun, Rob. That yeah. was fun, everybody. Thank you. So if you. you go to my Facebook page, you will see a profile picture of a picture of all of us that we took earlier today after the second round. And then I'll have all sorts of, I'll put questions and stuff. And you guys can chit chat and stuff like that and, and complain and, 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 apologize to each other or whatever under that thread <laughs> all right it was all fun right. you can find these on my youtube channel if you want to watch the video which is going to be on i will give it to you right now right now right now um Night, good, Robert. Good, night, good to meet you john Vanessa, and robert Thanks, john. yeah nice Thanks to meet you guys bye good night. Night. Night, Vanessa. good night guys bye guys it's saturday ben
I don't remember. Is, I think that's my YouTube channel. Apology. I'll just post a form letter. <laughs> Leonard, look at Leonard. <laughs> arr, arr. Very good, you guys. All right, so I'm going to end this. Adore. Oh. Adore. Good night. Adore. Take good care, night. everybody. Good night, everybody. Stay safe. Take care. Stay See you next week. <laughs>